Okay, guys, uh, we are live. So for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I will be your friendly dungeon master uh, today, this afternoon, this morning, this evening, wherever this finds you, whenever this finds you. If you are joining us live or around, uh, or at least today, a uh, very happy Halloween to everybody. Uh, today we are playing a very special one-shot session, playing... Um, Something uh, that I have cooked up for our Halloween uh, special uh, for today. So uh, what we're going to be playing today is something I don't run a lot on the channel, but it's uh, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, a, a little obscure game that some of you may have heard of. Um, but we're going to be doing something a little different with it, because instead of uh, playing the uh, one of the D&D worlds, we are going to the world of Azeroth. And we are using a set of house rules uh, it's the Warcraft Heroes Handbook, and I'll include a link to this in maybe in the description of the video afterwards. But we're going to the world of Azeroth to join some um, heroes uh, of the uh, Horde and the Alliance and the Unaligned Factions uh, and having ourselves a little bit of a dungeon crawl, I guess. With me today are some luminaries uh, and some regular faces uh, who will be subjecting themselves to the dangers of the most notorious prison in the entire Alliance. Uh, I'll go with the order I got you guys on the screen here. Why don't you tell us who you are and who you're playing today? Uh, first up, I have George. Hey, I'm George. I am playing Charlotte Sherwood, uh, who is a human rogue, um, uh, definitely an outlaw. Uh, who has been captured after uh, carrying out some missions against uh, the place where she's currently living, and we'll find out more as we go. Nice. Uh, n next up is Carl. Hello, I'm Carl. I'm playing Tormag Slate, and he is a dark iron dwarf. New to the Alliance, probably doesn't like him so much. <laughs> no. Uh, next up is Hobbs. Hello, everyone. I am Jason Hobbs. I am playing Slova oh, Sovash Skull Striker, uh, an orc done wrong. Nice. I think he's a shaman, yeah? Yeah, yeah, shaman. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's okay. A shaman orc done wrong. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, next up is Jeffrey. Hey, I'm Jeff, and I'm playing Day One. He is a Mistwalker monk and a Pandaren. Nice. And last but certainly not least is our resident armorsmith, Dave. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Dave, and I am playing uh, Valania Stormspear, who was a former priestess of uh, Moon Goddess. And she's a night elf and now a, what is it, shadow priest? Shadow priest, correct. Yes. Taking a dark path. Yes. So... Um, guys, let me, um, with everyone having made their introduction and everyone big there, let's, let's throw y'all in prison. So, um, what we know, guys, is that, uh, oh, you just need to check again, Hobbs, because I can see it myself. For, I found it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, the, where our scene opens, let me change over from our, uh, more optimistic music here. Are we on the game? Oh, I did do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. let's see here which one was it here i think it's this one that's the escape that's the escape music all right our scene opens on a busy uh alliance city we can tell it's alliance because it has the gold and blue banners hanging from the uh, uh several of the important uh royal buildings uh people are running through the streets and we see a young woman who looks very, very, very much like our Charlotte. Uh, she goes running through the streets, cradling a package underneath her arms, and she throws herself into a room or a door. We can hear shouting. Something's going on in the city. Something is, is um, something busy is happening. This girl sh closes the door, and then we see her scamper upstairs and into... Uh, a small bedroom and on the bed we see a woman who uh, is older but looks very much like both Charlotte and, and this young woman though she looks very very sick um, she isn't she's maybe 20 years uh, older if that but 
the sickness that has clearly been eating through her, leaving her in sweat-soaked sheets uh, with a pallid color and sick, greasy hair hanging down. Uh, clearly it seems to have uh, given her the appearance of someone much, much older. Um, the girl sets down the package, and as it opens up, we can see that inside this folded bit of burlap is a bunch of vials and small containers. Uh, the woman says, Here, mother, I have this. Drink this. And she goes down and, and pours something into her mother's mouth. We can see that there's a distinctly uh, greenish cast to her, uh, her mother's eyes. Um, she is only able to get down a sip of, from this tiny container before there's a coughing. And um, she says, no, 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 finish it, finish it. Uh, we can hear, um, though the girl's, the young woman's uh, focus is on her mother, of course, uh, her focus is suddenly taken away from screams outside. She makes her way to the window, and while we cannot see what's happening, we can see from her reaction as she jerks back that something horrible has just happened. We can hear the sound of more screams, more shouts, the sound of men moving in armor. And from somewhere in the house, we hear a smashing sound. Her mother turns and looks at her and says, what, what was, th and breaks out into coughing fit, thick with phlegm, uh, unable to answer. The young woman puts her hand up, says, no, no, mother, wait, wait. And she first gets her back and secured underneath the sweat-soaked sheets. We can see that her body uh, is almost reduced to a skeleton with whatever is burning through her. And as the young woman turns and we see, uh, and to make her way towards the door, the door smashes open. And what appears is no doubt her savior, dressed in gleaming armor, beautiful blonde hair hanging from him, the cut and the appearance of a king or perhaps one who might one day be one. And in his hand, an enormous hammer and bearing the sigil of their adopted homeland, Lord Aram. And for a moment, the girl looks thrilled finally someone blessed with the light a paladin who can save her mother but then she meets the cold cold eyes of this man she sees him tighten his grip on his hammer and she realizes the horrible truth of what is to come this guy's is who we see. And from a now outside of the house, we can see that the streets are a bloody ruin as troops dressed in the same armor and the same tabard as her savior are murdering everyone in that they come across. We hear the sound of a heavy, wet thud from inside the second story window, followed shortly thereafter by a second. And Charlotte, that's when you jerk awake. You are where we left you before in the stockade, the most dangerous and escape proof prison in all of the Alliance, located underneath Stormwind itself, built by your father and his kin in the stone, uh, the uh, Stonemason Guild. And as you jerk awake, you look across your cell and you can see the night elf uh, woman who shares your cell with you. And as is always the case, when you jerk yourself awake in the morning, sharing the same vision of your sister 
and your mother, which of course you never saw, just this is your mind's eye and your guilt playing out a fantasy for you. But the way that this night elf woman looks at you tells you there may be something more to that vision. So Valanya, you've been awake uh, before uh, Charlotte and you of course saw the same you always do. She dreams of uh, this same uh, young woman and the same old woman every night. What is the expression that Charlotte sees on Valanya's face as she jerks awake? Um, I think it's probably um, not pity, but like, uh, I don't know. Like poor, not like a poor, like treating her like a poor soul, but like, you know, you, you get what you pay for. Or you reap what you sow kind of. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's a, a look of uh, detached condescension maybe. Yeah. yeah I, that's about right. okay. And I say, I don't need your pity. I'm fine. It's just a dream. Okay. I, have no, for you. I have no pity for you. So you don't get any noise. So, <laughs> um, I think, uh, as you, uh, the two of you jerk awake, you guys can see across the hall. Uh, in the the cell opposite, um, you see that um, there is a large green skinned figure on one bunk who's rolled over and is still uh, sound asleep. There is another on an opposite bunk, a much smaller but equally stocky, all, uh, kind of coal gray skin, likewise snoring away, but standing facing you guys, his hands behind his back is a tall um, and not stocky is not the word for it rotund may be a better word for it is the same black and white masked uh, bear looking figure looking at you both does Daiwan say anything oh uh. Maybe just something like, you know, good morning. It's morning good, says Tormag. <laughs> oh. Opening one eye. So one thing that you guys all know as well is that within the stockade, there are wards that prevent the use of any magic. Unless you're carrying a specific uh, thing. Uh, am I cutting out for any of you guys or is it just Jeff? I think no. it's just Jeff. Yeah, sorry, Jeff. I think it might be your uh, your internet connection again. Damn you! I know. Um, you yeah, sound pro- technology. You haven't cut out for us if that if that uh, helps at all. You we we haven't heard you cut out. Um, so Tormog, yeah, you sort of roll over. You know what's coming soon because it comes in. You know, uh, it comes in uh, every morning around this time. But you start hearing this kind of this sound of clanging. And it is one of the guards, Jesper Krein. And this is what Jesper looks like. Fully armored. And he has that parrot as well, too. Something he says he got from a Kulturan. But he goes along hitting this, like, cowbell thing. Rang, 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 rang. And that damn bird on his shoulder is also squawking along with it. Get up! Get up, scum! Feeding time! Come on! Up and at him! Up and at him! What do each of you do? I take my time. Okay. Valania whispers bird stew as she turns away. He he whispers words to her? She whispers, whispers to herself, bird stew. Oh, bird one stew, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one of these days, that bird's going to be my stew. Okay. So you, are we the slowest yeah, yeah. possible without getting in trouble? So this is part of your usual routine in um, uh, in the stockade. You're brought down to the mess hall where you're fed, and then you're escorted back to your prison. Um, the 
uh, this is what passes for exercise and for socializing. So you best make better, you know, best use of this. While you guys who have any kind of magical abilities uh, are prohibited from using yours, the um, uh, guards uh, in here, some of the mages who uh, work in here, and some of the priests, they are not so prohibited because of these special amulets uh, that they wear. So it per keeps the uh, the riffraff in line. It also helps that they generally segregate them by... Um, levels of uh, danger and also by um, levels of, uh, uh, shall we say, uh, civilization. So you guys are, you have, you know, you have about a minute to get yourselves up and get yourselves ready before you need to be at the, um, you're going to be escorted down by Jesper and his uh, thugs. You get yourselves up and you, once you uh, line up, like, does anyone do anything apart from just well, complying? Does he or have what? a set of did he, does he have a set of keys that he opened this door with, or how? how yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I mean, I have a plan of what I want to do when I if I'm able to move cl past him on the way out, or I'm going to try to see if I can move myself to pass within close proximity on the way out. Okay. Um, one thing I can tell you is that um, because of the redundancies in the prison. Um, Getting, uh, if your initial plan is just to get keys to get yourself uh, out of this thing, yeah. you need you need a better plan than that. Okay, that's something you've you've <laughs> contemplated already, uh, and but that's not to say that you aren't working on something. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay, um, got it. You guys are lined up. Uh, Jesper opens the thing, and you guys are uh, led down these dank halls. Now, for those who may be familiar with the stockade. <laughs> In the video game, or uh, for either players or uh, those listening at home, the way I'm choosing to interpret the Warcraft world is that the video game is a, is the same level of fidelity as, say, like a late '90s World War One or World War Two video game, uh, which is to say that it is a very on rails, manageable experience uh, of a much more um, involved and exotic kind of place. So the stockade I'm picturing st sprawling over multiple levels, uh, leading down into the uh, uh, into the structure, as opposed to just three wings. So as you guys are led down, you guys are uh, come out of the um, cells and you are led down towards the main area. Now, Charlotte, do you wish to try anything? I think you may uh, have taken those keys from him before. That's what I was just thinking. I think I've tried it before. I, I think I'm going to. Um just as I pass him, I'm just going to, you know, quickly turn to him and look right in his face and say, you're on my list. And oh, that's going. good. You're on mine. Get going, Sherwood. I keep going. And he grabs the to kind of truncheon at his uh, waist. Now, all of the guards uh, in here, too, because of the level of danger uh, with associated with the inmates here, let me just give you uh, an <laughs> in idea of what the guards are all dressed like. And I found this really cool. I don't know whether it's a high-res render or whether it's an actual cosplay because it looks pretty cool and real to me. Uh, where is it here? There we go. So here you go, guys. This is what the guards are dressed like. Hmm. And now that I see it in full thing, that's for sure a render. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Whatever the and opposite so, uh, of Uncanny Valley, that's apparently what I suffer from. Of like, it's all real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, and the, the, the every day is the same exact routine that they that were led through. Yeah. 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 Although you're uh, Tormog, you're kind of hoping that something uh, that today is going to be a little bit of a difference because fuck. There's someone that you really don't want to run into. Uh, you've had words with um, uh, another inmate um, who goes by the name Hamhawk. And unfortunately, as you guys walk in, I think you guys have all collectively shared cells with each other uh, between uh, like a month and about nine months. You, none of you have been here for a year yet, but... Um, I think the last one to be tossed in here is probably um, either Sovash or Tormog. Because you guys were sort of recent uh, arrests. 
But as you walk into this big open <laughs> area where everyone is is feeding, you can see um, Hamhawk comes staggering in and shouting from across the other side of the room, Cormog! I thought you'd be here! And then you hear another voice that says, There he is! There he is! And the reason you hear two voices... Yep. Is because... I need to find a hand out. Here's Hamhawk. Oh, jeez. Hamhawk is a two-headed ogre. So he points at you with one of his hands, and one of the guards is like, keep, keep going. Uh, ogres are about 10 feet to 12 feet tall. Uh, and one of the things that you guys would, I think at least Sovash, you would certainly know, and Tormog, you would as well. Um, Two-headed ogres are often magically gifted. Uh, so um, thankfully, he is not able to make use of his magics. But, um, Tormo, you did something in the span of the last, like, since you have become a guest of the Stockade to really piss off Hamhawk. What do you think that is? Um, see. Did you steal his food? Did you step on his toes? Did you mouth off to him? Uh, likely Tormog would have mouthed off to him and then just, like, um, kicked him in the shin or even tried to trip him. Okay. Awesome. Because before the guards kind of... Okay. Now, one of the things that uh, makes this a little uh, even uh, less pleasant is that uh, Hamhawk, who is really, like you would think with two brains, you may um, be a, a slightly more intelligent person. Uh, that is unfortunately not the case with uh, ogres. They often, it seems as they become a fraction of their intelligence. But even in spite of his sheer idiocy, he has managed to accumulate some other more savage and uh, dangerous sidekicks as well, too. And that is a small pack of gnolls. That go along with him. And when he calls out your name, you can hear all of the gnolls kind of like, <laughs> all cackling away. I'm going to get you, Tormog. Yeah, so they push you forward. Um, and then he looks over and sees you again, Sovash. And unfortunately, because of your species, you've become um, a target for his ire as well. What are you with him for, Orc? Why are you standing with him? You should do something. Be with us. You're a traitor to your species. Hehehe, <laughs> traitor, traitor, says the other head. Tormog has more honor than even you. Who wants honor when you've got power? <laughs> and one of the guards kind of shoves him along too. And you guys start making your way along. Now, Charlotte, one of your background uh, things is uh, the ability to have connections with criminals. Yeah. There are two options that you have right now for okay. your contacts. One of the things that uh, prisoners or other prisoners who's made contact with you since you've come in here is a member of the Defias Brotherhood. Hmm. Now, knowing how you feel about that, I'll let you make a decision as to whether you would have followed along with their potential plan. The Defias Brotherhood were the stonemasons uh, who built this place. And unsurprisingly, that means they know every secret passage in and out of here. So if you ally yourselves with them, then they may have a way of uh, getting you out. However, it does mean throwing in with Van Cleef and the darker angels uh, or the darker forces that he seems to be associating with. Uh, hmm. For those listening at home, Charlotte. Oh, Ed, George, why don't you tell us why Charlotte was arrested? Uh, so um, essentially uh, the stonemasons who built the city um, wound up being... Uh, uh, deemed essentially want to be deemed terrorists in general, um, and were uh, you know my, her father was one of them and was killed. Um, one group that arose out of that was the Defias Brotherhood, and they were they seemed to be up to something more than just trying to um, to uh, to save the the stonemasons and their families. Um, 
So they have some kind of ulterior motives. Uh, I didn't want any part of that, so I'm just fighting for the stone basins uh, on my own with like a small ragtag ragtag team. Um, and then, uh, I, am I making up why I was specifically? Why? Yeah. How specifically uh, you managed to get arrested? Whether you were betrayed? Um, mm -hmm. And that maybe that might actually be maybe it's an open question. Uh, like they caught you, but it seems maybe someone in your band may have thrown in with the Defies Brotherhood. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, <clears throat> I think it was a little bit more complicated because uh, something went wrong uh, in, you know, we were trying to carry out uh, some kind of theft and something went wrong and I had to go back to help one of my companions. Yep. Um, and, and when I got him away, I wound up getting caught. But okay. I think that somebody in my, on my own team might have forced my friend into uh, being left behind. Yeah. So then that also, oh, so then the, um, the Defias, uh, them approaching you in the prison is probably a doubly, like, did you fuckers get me in here in the first place just to get me in with you? Or Right. Okay. So I'll let you stew yeah. about that. Uh, Carl, why don't you tell us why Tormog was arrested? So, do you have that somewhere? Or just make it up. You said, you said it was drunk and disorderly, right? Basically, and arson, I think. So, so probably on a diplomatic on a diplomatic mission here uh, here in Stormwind, uh, he got into an argument about you know with an, with other dwarves because dwarves are allied with Stormwind about uh, you know what kind of dwarf is a better dwarf. They started talking about dark iron dwarves and in a way made fun of the the Empress. Uh, so he started a, a big bar fight. It got out of hand. He broke some heads. Burned down a tavern. You know, as it happens. Very surly about it. For those who uh, and, I, I saw in like, chat too. Happened, he probably screamed, if this had happened in Blackrock, who cares? Everything burning anyway. <laughs> exactly. So for, for those listening at home, this the time period for this is uh, about 34 years after the uh, Dark Portal opened. Uh, this is uh, shortly before the uh, Wrath of Lich King. Um, the events of the Wrath of Lich King expansion happened. Uh, this is after uh, four years after um, was it uh, Dagmar? I, I geez, how did I forget it already? Good lord, uh, the uh, the former sorcerer emperor of the uh, Dark Iron Dwarves, uh, Dagrin, Dagrin Th Tharason, uh, was murdered by uh, assassins sent by the Bronzebeard uh, Dwarves. So Tormog's been part of it a uh, expedition uh, sent by uh, Empress uh, Moira uh, Tharason to try and establish diplomatic relations. Tormog seems is not built for diplomacy. Sovash, why are you in prison? Uh, that is a mystery to Slovash. Uh, he feels like he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And likely with the wrong species, too. Um, Daiwan, why are you in prison? Um, I feel like, um, you probably got caught, I probably got caught up with some, uh, shady people. I'm here trying to, uh, learn here's about a, the Here's land. an option for and you, I, too, Jeff. Yeah. Daiwan could intentionally be in prison. Yeah, maybe. Chance to meet with all these kinds of people to get information from them. Okay. Um, so... Uh, that is very true. Because what a, what a more uh, cosmopolitan group than uh, you know of uh, Nerdawells could you find? And what about Valania? Why is uh, Valania in prison? <clears throat> well, Valania was pursuing the the missing bishop, uh, Natalie, and uh, someone had played her for information, and turned out they were just trying to get some extra coin and didn't have anything to to give in return. And she doesn't like people wasting her time or her gold. So that person is no longer with us. Yeah. And unfortunately, they were uh, they were a friend of somebody in the guards. And uh, she was found out pretty quick. And uh, yeah, the guards mm. caught up to her. Didn't take too kindly to her taking out their friends. So uh, the name again that you, uh, that has been, um, that drew you from the light, uh, from the light of the moon, uh, is Zalatath. So, um, Daiwan, you have also um, 
had someone uh, contact you as Walt too. And what you come to learn is that within the um, within the alliance, there is an espionage organization. Now you not you can't mm. confirm that one of the guards. But there's a guard named Renato, and you have a sneaking suspicion that uh, he may be part of this organization. And the the rumor, at least that the uh, Pandarans know or uh, suspect is that this organization is called SI7. Mm. Because he seems to be quite friendly with you and seems to make suggestions that um, he may be able to help. But there's a very back and forth kind of thing going on there. So you guys are in um, getting ready to... to uh, we're cutting back to the meal hall and you can see you guys are lining up to go and get your uh, your meals and unfortunately you are going to be moving along with ham hawk at the exact same time so as you guys are shuffling and the the two lines from the two different wings are getting together you guys are going along and ham hawk looks down at tormog and he says oh, i'm gonna pop you pop you like a pimple dwarf if he looks come down here and Say that I can't. I can't quite hear. Come. It's because you're so far down there. It's because he oh. is. <laughs> <laughs> Bend over. I can't hear what you're saying. Are we like in the mess line or mess hall? Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah. And so you guys are sort of like <clears throat> jawing at each other as the line is slowly getting closer. Let me switch up the music to make a little more up tempo here as well, too. There you go. Have we ever have the group of us? I guess maybe with Sorbash. Sobash is just my bunk mate, right? Sorry. Sobash is like my cellmate. Yes. Cellmate. Uh, Sobash yeah. and mate, Daiwan. Weirdo. Yeah, not bunk. Mm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was day one in that cell too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys have been together for quite some time. How do you think you guys have been? <clears throat> the three of you, Daiwan, Sobash, and Tormog. How do you think you've been getting along? Tormog, I don't know. So. Tormag, even though even though the Dark Iron Dwarves are like nominally alliance, honestly, I I would feel like the Dark Iron Dwarves have a lot more in common with with Horde factions. Yeah, just well, because, of all the, because of all the constant incursions by alliance into their territories. So one of the things that would be uh, substantially different, Sovash is uh, Sovash is a shaman, and we talked about right. this a little bit before we went live. But one of the things that when the horde came in, the horde was under the influence of this demonic presence called Sargeras, mm -hmm. and um, or uh, Kiljaden, I should say, you know, who was an agent of uh, Sargeras. But um, the the horde that invaded Azeroth. And used, you know, was led by warlocks, and ended up in Black Rock Mountain with the dwarves, the Black Hand uh, clan. They're a very, very, very different uh, culture than what Sovash is from. Sovash is part of this like reclamation initiative to go back to before the. Uh, there's this warlock named Gul'dan who was like it, uh, basically uh, he was contacted by a phenomenally powerful demon and then managed to corrupt all of the orcs. Uh, and bamboozle them into thinking that there was another species on their planet that was to blame for how, why their planet was uh, was dying, basically. And because of that, that's why the orcs invaded eventually, is because their world was dying, they needed to find a new place to go. All of it was a shell game by this demonic uh, power. Um, but uh, Sobush would be a very different dwarf than what you would have, uh, or d orc, than what you would have been exposed to. And I think that those of you who have magic powers, like Valania, it is probably very disturbing that you haven't heard Zalatas' voice since you were imprisoned because of those damn wards. And same thing with you, Sovash. This is maybe the first time that the spirits have not spoken to you. They're one of, the way that um, orcs become shaman is like you have to be accepted by them. You go and they really get into your your very soul and see who you are, and then they either embrace you, and you become part of them, or they reject you. Uh, and since you've been in prison, not only are you taken away from the wild open spaces that you prefer, um, you also have no contact with your, like, basically part of your soul. 
Yeah, I was thinking as far as Sovash is, he he feels like uh, Tomag uh, kind of represents the elemental fire where Daywan is more of like uh, earth or wind. And so he tries to be in between the two and balance them like he would uh, the elements regularly. Sure. And, Jeff, and they think... seem to be honorable compared to others. That's mm. why. <laughs> and one of the things with, uh, even though Daiwan is involved in espionage, one of the things that the uh, Pandaren excel in is under making people underestimate them they think they are doofusy beer drinking you know um big you know uh overweight doofuses basically um but they are masters of martial arts uh they are <clears throat> you know hiding in the plainest of plain sight what do you think uh, daiwan's been like since he's been in prison uh i think he's just you know he just tries to be even though it's a prison and not a very happy place, you know, he tries to be jovial and make friends with people and, you know, gain their trust and gain information. That's sure. sort of his goal, right? Okay. So then you guys would have uh, all be familiar with Hamhawk and his Knoll, you know, uh, underlings of how much they want to try and start fights with you guys. They probably have once or twice before, before it gets broken up by, uh, by guards. Um, and today's uh, Hamhawk seems particularly pugnacious. Um, what about Charlotte and Valania? How have those two gotten along? Uh, I mean, I think Charlotte doesn't get along with anybody in general and doesn't trust anybody because everybody she's ever trusted has, uh, other than her like own family, has betrayed her um, and her family, betrayed her and her family. Um, so she, and she's defiant um she's not won't be cowed by all the things that have happened to her so okay. she's not wallowing in all of the loss um so she sees everybody as a potential ally so she's not trying to purposely piss off Valania at all but she also doesn't want to be looked down upon and look at to be weak um so she's kind of keeping me up like a, a a brave kind of facade okay. um so she kind of pushes her buttons Valania's buttons but never never too far okay what, what about uh, Valania? What's she been like? Uh, Valania has uh, kind of pulled inward because of her lack of connection to the Void. Um, this is the first time in a long time that she's had no power in her mind. Um, and so she doesn't want to seem weak, so she doesn't talk to anybody. Okay. And she sees the, the reason she uh, is a little spiteful to uh, Charlotte is because she captures glimpses of Charlotte's weakness and she recognizes that we can't show that here and so she's a bit mean because she doesn't want Charlotte to think that she's just like her mm. okay cool uh, and you guys have cells across from each other so you certainly would have had an opportunity to shout across at each other as well <clears throat> so um, back in line um, you guys are getting closer to the uh, uh, to the food and you can hear um, uh, Hamhawk uh, is still jawing away at you. Oh, don't they wash these orcs? Don't they wash these dwarves? His beard smells like my toes. And again, the gnolls are all like, <laughs> and laughing away at this stuff. Yeah, it does. Like his toes, <laughs> says the other head. Uh, you're a little bit closer now. Jesper yells out at you guys, quiet. Quiet down, you all. Get your food and get back to your cells. What do they give us? On, like, they give us trays? They give us a bowl? A bowl with everything kind of slopped in there. And depending on whether they like you or don't, they uh, separate the stuff out. Otherwise, you get like, here's your bread, and here's your gruel on top of it. And we eat it with, we just drink it, or we eat it with our hands? Or... Uh, you got a spoon you can use. Okay. So you're making your way up. Uh, a little further forward, there's probably some roots and stuff that are, uh, or vegetables that are sometimes in there, but it's disgusting. Like, you know, uh, it's the stuff that's gone off a week ago. You step forward again. Oh, you're getting on my nerve. You're getting on it, dwarf, which is something considering how small you are. <laughs> Quiet down, says Jasper. You're a little bit further uh, up there. Tormog, mm -hmm. you can see your bowl and your uh, spoon. Which of you guys is first in line here? Is Tormog first up, or is it... Uh... <laughs> I think... Charlotte's trying not to be first in line, okay. so, but... 
yeah. might wind up being hit. Okay. How far back is Hamhawk? Or is he like right behind? Or? Uh, in front of the line, are you kidding? The hmm. gnolls don't eat before him. So are they like, are we in two lines going across a table, one on each side, and we're bitching across the table? Two lines, yeah, yeah. Like you're, you're yeah, walking okay, up that, towards uh, a yeah. main I, table. I was going to say, I have a plan. Okay. Who's right behind you? Is it uh, Sovash? Is it Daiwan? It's up to them. <laughs> sure, I'll be next. Yeah, unfortunately, none of your magic is working. So uh, psychic voice doesn't work either, right? Because it's uh, still considered magic? Not as long as those goddamn wards are active. Those are rage mm. works, though, right? What's right? Rage. <clears throat> uh, rage would still work. Yep. Okay. Is so. What's the order? What, are we in right now? Uh, I think it's Tormog here. Why don't we just uh, line you guys up here? Um, let's see here. I think I should hold on. I got. I think I got a map. If you guys, this will be easier. Uh, let's see here. I guess what I'll do. Is this gonna do? I just have to ignore the tor. Oh yeah, this will work. Here we go. Um, let me grab your tokens, guys. Get you resized. And I'll put old Hamhawk down, too. Good old Hamhawk. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Moving you over here. Oop, wrong one. Wrong map. Guys, that was the wrong map. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. The only thing you need to worry about, really, is, for the purpose of this, is the uh, uh, where the what do you call it? Um, let me resize, resize, resize. I should make you a little bit bigger, Daiwan. <laughs> We're still on the um, main original. Oh yeah, no, I haven't, uh, I haven't got you okay. guys in place yet. <laughs> Just getting you in place here first. I don't see any sizes, but okay, sure, whatever. There you go. Taiwan looks a little bigger than well, uh, Valenia standing there, wider anyway. Yeah, yeah wait, wide. they're and they're seven. They're about seven feet tall too. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, Pandaren are actually quite big. Orcs too, for that matter. Yep. Not yeah. as big as ogres, but uh, still pretty big. All right, let me get the uh, token for. We go, Hamhawk. There we go. And his knolls. <laughs> okay. Now as you as the, all of this is going on too, guys, let me just move this isn't uh every uh prisoner who's in here, it's just really this just uh, the relevant ones for now. So here we go, guys. You guys are right over here. This is you guys making your way. You guys can put yourselves in whatever order you'd like. I've got uh, Hamhawk at the at the front there. His uh, Noel Idgets around. So Vash, you want to be up? It's a single file. Hey, single file prisoner. <laughs> I couldn't move. I couldn't move <laughs> Dave's character, so he 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 figured it out. We're on top of this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's the order you guys are going to be in? It's really it shouldn't me, be, huh? but that's what we decided, okay. I think. All right. So those uh, those uh, tables right ahead of you, let me put a guard down there for you, too. Uh, where we go? Uh, oh, and here, incidentally, uh, remember your contact with uh, mm -hmm. that's been trying to make you um, die one? Yeah, Bernardo. Renato. He is in here as well, too. Boy, he looks like a scoundrel. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone with a goatee. <laughs> Star Trek yeah, has hey, taught hey. us nothing. I had a furrowed bro. And here is... Oh, there we go. Jesper. Move it along. <clears throat> and your... Here we go. And the Alliance Guards. So... Put some guards over here. A guard. 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 I realize I don't have to say guard every time I post one, but you know. Uh, I feel like you do. <laughs> yeah. Guard. Kev can, Kev, can you do anything in Roll Twenty without providing some audio or, <laughs> or really? sound effects? It's, it's part of you. If you read the contract in Roll Twenty, it, it expressly says you got to do that. 
Anytime you move something, you got to make some kind of noise. So, you know, there you go. All right. So you guys are making your way up towards the uh, meat and ham hock is, it keeps on going. Uh, I don't know if I should eat this. I should leave some room for you, dwarf. He's going to eat you. He's going to eat you. What's your plan, Tormog? Uh, as soon as we're done with the line, I'm just gonna move up to Hamhawk, try to throw the soup in his face, and start wailing on him. Okay. <laughs> so you start moving up towards him. Um, he sees you coming. Oh, you're gonna give me your meal, are you? And you hear Jesper yell out, "No, no, no!" Uh, so he's. I, I say, I, I'm tired of your double yapping. Shut the hell up. I throw the soup. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, first. He sees this coming. This ain't the first time this has happened. So let's quickly. Um, everyone, click on your token. Go ahead and click on initiative. Let me quickly turn to my ogre mage thing here. Sorry, guys. Using up all the quick, all the good rolls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to try not to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh man, again? That's gonna blow there my cover. There he is. Okay. Same and. All right, guys. So, uh, I need to mark this. All righty. Uh, how did I do for Hamhawk? Okay, he gets. Oh, not not good. They are very slow. Again, two heads are not better than one. <laughs> and the gnolls, I'll let them be surprised, but uh, let's see here. Gnolls are on a four, or 11. Okay. All right, guys. So, let me get this in descending order here. All right. First up, uh, Charlotte, you can see kind of what's about to go down here. Say the first time, are you getting involved or are you? Um, I mean, basically what I want to do is to look around at the guards and see how many guards are paying attention um, to what's going on uh, and if they're heading, if any are, if they're heading towards it. Uh, they're, they definitely are. Yeah, the guards are okay. going to, you guys know you're going to intervene. Uh, you, I think the way this normally plays out is that like Tormog or... Um, uh, Hamhawk, get a couple of good licks in before the guards all start beating him down and take them down. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to move, uh, then I'll just, that'll be my action and to check that out, and then I'll move up a bit to see okay. if I want to be involved next, ter next turn. Valania, what do you got in mind? Uh, Valania is going to move around to this side of the pillar. Okay. Because uh, she's getting bored and uh, she's going to just Hold for one of the, either one of the guards to run by or for one of these uh, gnolls. Okay. And uh, to to move, and then she's going to try and trip somebody and cause more problems. Okay. Tormog. We got some soup attack going on here. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and make a strength check. You can add your proficiency as well, too. So I guess maybe, are you trained in athletics? <clears throat> um... Yes. Yep. Go ahead and just make an athletics check then. Right. Holy smokes. 24. Wow. Yeah, so solid Ooh. hit. Soup all over. Now, do you go for the deep, uh, the uh, the head with the horn or head without the horn? Uh, which, one's the, which one seems to be the lead head? Uh, without. Yeah, I'll go without the horn. Okay. So you toss it up at him. Uh, Sobash. What are you doing? Oh, well, can I move, I guess? Yeah, you moved up to get him. Uh, okay. All right, gotcha. Okay. So, Vosh, what do you got in mind? Um, I'm going to uh, hold, but if one of these gnolls comes by me to go after Tormag, I will uh, uh, punch him. Okay. Um, the gnolls... point or no? Say again? Does that count for a rage or no? Uh, that you attacked? Sure. Yeah. Yep. Is it if you're hit or if you yeah you hit with an attack that yeah you get a point of rage? With an attack that I don't use rage for. 
Yes. Yep. That's absolutely. Okay. No so you're... All right. Then it is uh, the Knolls. Uh, Sovash, you get a punch. Go ahead and make an unarmed attack because they are running on you. Is this uh, an unarmed attack? How do you want me to roll that? Uh, just go ahead and let's hear it. Is... It's basically a d20 with a. Yeah, and if you, have, if you have proficiency, then. Okay, there's guys. No oh. see for unarmed, though, right? Yeah, there is. You do. Proficiency. Everybody automatically gets it. Yeah. Yeah, that oh. one has it. Oh, okay. So it's just plus two. Yeah. No strength bonus or anything? Uh, no. What you can do is. Uh, yeah, everyone's proficient in it. So. Uh, I guess. You might get strength bonus. Yeah, so we get uh, make a strength check, I guess, and just add your. Uh, you guys all have plus two proficiency, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah at fourth level. Yeah, yeah. So go ahead. There, how's that? Oh, solid. Nice. Go ahead and roll damage. It's technically just one plus your strength modifier. Oh, is it? Okay, so then... Yeah. Four, four points. Is... I was going to say, points. how do I roll damage? <laughs> 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 All right, so you sock this uh, knoll in the jaw, and uh, then he is going to try and sock you. That is a miss against you, Charlotte. Uh, it's a miss as well. What, oh, hold on, what's your AC? Charlotte or me? Uh, Charlotte. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. Okay. Rashes is very bad. Yeah. What's yours, uh, Charlotte? Fourteen. Fourteen. Oh yeah, that's for sure a miss. S yeah. Swings, you are far too agile. Um, Vail uh, Valenia. Uh, one of them hits you. One of them misses you. Um, so you take. Uh, let's see. Uh, you take one point of uh, non-lethal damage. Uh, Daiwan, you can see that they're all jumping on her. Then it is. Hamhawk's turn. I was holding for for one of them to move by. Can I try and trip one of those? Uh, they're moving directly towards you, so not really. You could make an um, unarmed attack if you like. Ugh. No, <laughs> no there, that is not your forte. All right, so then um, Hamhawk is uh, he's not pleased with you, uh, Tormog. I hit a nineteen, so I'm guessing that's a hit. That's for sure a hit. Yeah, I mean, okay. I uh, you take 14 points of non-lethal damage. Oh. Oh. I've been waiting to crush you. So it's not one plus the strength bonus for him. <laughs> yeah, they, or, yeah, ogres, they're a little bigger. Um, and I think, hold on, does he get... No. All right. And then that's when the guards all jump in. So the guards jump in, and things are very, very quickly put to an end. But what happens, uh, Tormog, is as you stagger back, you hit the uh, table, and Jesper seems to have been running forward at the same time. So you manage to knock the giant bucket of gruel that they've been serving you in onto Jesper. Nice. He's gone! You! And... Things are very, very, uh, yeah, very quickly put to an end. Um, Renato, uh, actually, let's see here. Would Charlotte and Daiwan, would each of you give me perception checks, please? Okay. Perception. 12. Okay. I'm not, not very perceptive. Oh, that one. Oh. <laughs> I am one with the universe. Oh. <laughs> By which I mean I'm having a nap. Oh. Uh, all right. So um, both of you guys, so you guys will have to role play this accordingly. But um, in the sort of the, the hustle and bustle of you guys getting uh, grabbed and dragged away, and uh, you can hear that um, Hamhawk is screaming out to you, Tormark, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, dwarf. He'll kill you. <laughs> and then the uh, uh, Jesper is the one who drags you all back to the thing but Charlotte and Daiwan Renato as he's going by stuffs something into your uh, your prison overalls mm -hmm. and you guys are dragged back to your cells I'm trying to grab a bowl of a gruel on yeah. my, like after a bowl of <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and give us an acrobatics check. All right, there we go. So you can get out uh, in time. Nice. 20. 20. You get free and you grab something. 
and then wham, it slams down on you, and you're dragged back. Nice. All right. So, I yell it. I try to yell if, he, if he's leaving. You yeah. stupid ogre, we're doing this all wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. And you can hear all the uh, um, hyenas, or hyenas, the uh, gnolls, are all just losing their mind. They think it's the funniest thing. The, like, they're on the ground laughing, and the, the guards are dragging them away as this is happening. When you guys punch the uh, when, Sovash, when you punch the knoll, they seem to think it was hilarious as well. So, <laughs> they're just like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! And want to jump in and fight more. So you're all dragged back and thrown back into your prisons. Now, one of the things that, uh, Charlotte, you're the last one to come back because... Yeah. Um, you, you're the one who kind of got free and grabbed, you know, some food. But, um, as you're being dragged back, you pass by your neighbor. Now, I haven't, uh, mentioned your neighbor yet, uh, because she never comes out to eat. Food is always brought to her because she, every time they have tried to bring her out, she's just dropped to her knees and started whispering and praying. Um, she occupies a cell on her own because the last two uh, cellmates that they put in there uh, she murdered them oh okay she has long a blonde hair um, she is probably uh, from uh, either Stormwind or Lordaeron you've not uh, um, you've not really ever spoken to her but what you've heard uh, her name is Lydia and Lydia, as far as you know, has always been praying to a corner of her cell on her knees and whispering. Um, there are things her fingernails have been uh, worn down from her scratching out symbols on the wall. Symbols that don't make sense to either you or to Valania. And you can hear her at night. Uh, you've now kind of gotten used to falling asleep to the sound of her muttering and praying. But as you're being dragged back, um, you can hear you, you, from her cell. You, you look over, and she's looking at you for the first time since you've been in here. Um, you can now see sallow, sunken cheeks. Her eyes hang deep inside her sockets, um, roomy and uh, and watery, uh, blue eyes. And her filthy blonde hair hangs around her. She probably is only uh, no older than you, but she looks like she has been living a very rough, rough life. And with one of her bloody calloused fingers, she points at you and says, You saw him. You saw him. Uh, I saw a lot of him. And you're dragged past. And she throws you in your, and uh, the guards throw you in your cell. So uh, I turn to Valenia and say, "Any idea what's going on with her?" No. Yeah, I figured. No, I just keep going. She's never talked to me. You gotta be careful not to talk to her. Gibberish. I don't know if you knew what that was—some kind of magic or something. I don't know. Would I uh, make an arcana check or something? Yeah, sure. Or, uh, or religion? No? Or... Uh, either side might be. It'll just give you different information. Mm, I'll try again. Okay. Mm, no idea. No, I'm not sure what uh, they know. Uh, as in all of our games, uh, you guys do have a pool of Astonishing Fortune to draw from. Uh, so right. if you choose to re-roll that, you don't have to. But uh, just a reminder, you guys I, do have that. I think we should keep spending it on this roll until you get it. That sounds like an excellent plan. <laughs> I don't even ever get a chance to get it. <laughs> I'm not skilled in either, either arcana or religion. Yeah. Which is kind of weird. For a it's more of an uh, it's more uh, yeah, and it's more of an aside comment. Like it's just driving me crazy that we just I don't know what's up with this crazy person who's now talking to me. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tormog, with um, enough with rest, you're going to get your full hit points back too, so you can go ahead and restore yourself. Well, I, I kind of tell so much. They never follow the plan. <laughs> what plan is he talking about, so much? That it's it's Tom, Tormag. He he seems to get excited about things like this, but I just usually <laughs> let him, you know, settle himself out over time. 
I feel like those ogres, the ogre heads never listen or they argue. The plan is to cause commotion and then make a jailbreak. <laughs> but no, the uh, stupid ogre. Stupid hyena man. Indeed, Tormag. Indeed. No, sorry, that's my orc voice. What is nice. What is, videos. <laughs> what is that? The head guard armed with? Uh, yes, oh, yeah, uh, he's got uh, plate armor on and a uh, sword. Uh, like they they don't uh, fuss Looks around. Like he has here. bad acne. Uh, he has... Does he have one of the? Who has the those things that you can? He also has double proficiency in parrot. <laughs> so he can mimic us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. His the parrot does when you guys say things, it just it squawks back at you. Um, follow the plan. Follow the plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Jesper steps out and he looks down. That's actually what you hear as he steps around here. And Sovash, you realize that uh, Tormog is talking about an obvious escape attempt, and Jesper clearly heard that. Oh, you think you think you're gonna get yourself out of here, do you? You think you're oh, smart, okay. dwarf? I'm smarter than you with that parrot's brain, too. Parrot brain? Parrot brain? And he looks at the parrot. Oh, we'll, I'll get out of here. It just... You know what? You. You'll get out of here all right. When we bury you, we'll dump your body in the sewers, and the mucklocks sure, will eat them. I'm sure I've killed many, many of your cousins who, who entered Blackrock and never came out. Mm-hmm. And how's that working for you now? Working now. Alive. Working now. <laughs> I'm still alive, and they're dead, and soon you will be, too. As I expected, good behavior gets meals. Bad behavior, well, maybe some empty bellies for a little while. We'll make you rethink how you're talking to me and how you're treating your fellow prisoners. Prisoners? Prisoners? He turns. You guys have been through this before. What this means? No food today. Mm. I'm surprised you haven't done parrots like this before, Kev. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Jesper walks away, and you can hear him say, you know, to someone else, "They get nothing today. No meals." And got no meals, no meals. And he heads away. So, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Like again, every day. No food. We need to keep our strength up if we're gonna get out of here. Race these wards is what we need. And this cells, just so I have a clear visual, are they all bars from top to bottom, or are they yeah. like cell doors? Okay. Yeah, yeah, full, full on. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, bars top to bottom. You're not able to to get out at all. Yeah. But I just wonder how much I can see across, across, out. Sorry. Okay, got it. Yeah, you guys can still see each other clearly across the um, uh, the cell from one to the other. Cool. So, um, Charlotte, you have those that note was uh, slipped to you. We'll wait for Jeff yes. to get his uh, router uh, restarted. Yep. yep. That's my next thing is I want to check out what that was. Okay. Waiting, waiting for waiting for yeah Jesper to get out you know far enough away. Okay. So yes, does he have one of those? Um, does he have one of those like war, anti-ward things? He's not a spellcaster, is he? He does not. No, he he does not seem to be. You can tell the uh, um, the uh, mages that uh, that do work in here. They're typically m more used to secure big areas. May uh, spellcasting in uh, Warcraft is generally like brute force stuff more so than uh, you know the finesse uh, things. Uh, there's also a lot more magic items in um, World War in uh, the Warcraft setting than there is in like say even like D and D. Um, the um, yeah, uh, so with with you guys in here, that means it's probably going to be a long and and uh, food free uh, evening. Now, Charlotte, if you wish to take a look at this note without letting anyone know, you can go ahead and give us a sleight of hand check. I I, I don't actually I don't even I don't care. You don't care if it's not care. I'm not, Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Well, I thought you were afraid one of us was the one who. No, I think one of my fellow the bandits oh, okay. from my little group <laughs> okay, was bad. involved. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just going to read it. Um, did I see that? Daiwan Daiwan got one as well, or nope. did I? I yeah. I didn't Your so. perception check was not great, so <clears throat> you didn't yeah. see that he got one as well. 
yeah so i so i pull it out and like almost like i you know i got a note because i'm obviously more important yep so i'll just pull it out and like, <clears throat> like make a yep. point of like a, a paper like okay this. and what it simply says is if you wish to leave be ready tonight an r because your contact it. with the defies brotherhood oh is renato it's, oh. okay um She's uh, she's very practical, and she's definitely a realist. So she's gonna turn to Valania and say, "Well," and she'll even hand her the note. And say, "Well, if we want, there's something happening tonight. I don't know. The Tobias Brotherhood just, uh, can't really trust them, but maybe an opportunity to escape this place." And I'm assuming it's in like common, it's readable. It's not like thieves can't or some special. Do we want to uh, include any others? You know what? It probably, no, it is because there's no thieves can't in uh, rogues get a different kind of thing. Uh, okay. Right. It's, uh, I can't remember what it's called. But it's on uh, your I, I, yeah, as you say, it's on my character sheet here. Yeah. Uh, Secret misses. Right, 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 right. Yeah, so it's it's that. It's communicating in that manner. Okay, so it's this cryptic code. So I just I show it to uh, Valenia. I know she can't read it, yep. but I just I tell her what it actually says, even though it looks like a you know a grocery list. Okay. Okay. Well, do we want to include anyone else in? I say the more the merrier. That's what I'm thinking. Because even if, well, a few get caught, if we get away. Yeah, I think it's every woman for themselves, ultimately. But um, why not uh, try to make things harder for the guards? Well, Jeff. and if we let if we let next door out, she did talk to you, did she not? Or motion to you? Uh, yeah, I think I, I'm happy to. You know, are, are, right now, are we all in the same cell, or are we across? Uh, you and uh, they keep the men and women separate. <clears throat> so you are okay. in one cell and, and the others are across the way. Jeff, can you hear us now? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, I think it's way better now. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Okay. So did you hear that you were passed a uh, missive, a uh, message from uh, Renato? Yes, but he, I'm assuming I didn't notice that he put it in me. On, in you did not head. notice that Charlotte got one as well too, but before... Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. we both got one. I just see I didn't notice Yeah, you both got one. You both got one from Renato and uh, you... What um, you can, what uh, you've seen since, is since you've got back to the cell, uh, Charlotte's made a big production out of pulling this missive out and saying something to Valania. Am I correct in thinking you didn't try and hide it from anybody? I did not try to hide it from anybody, and they are asking me. Yeah. And, so then, uh, Daiwan, yeah. if you want to look at yours, uh, you can, uh, without letting anyone else know, just give us a sleight of hand uh, roll. And sure. If um, okay, so then. I think he'd like to see it before he announces what it is. Of course. Go ahead. Wisdom. <laughs> that one. Oh, so you you, pull, you you try to, you know, you're sitting near the thing and you try and you, you start pulling it out and then Tormog kind of hits you and he's like, do you see the orc didn't or the, the stupid ogre didn't and you drop the note and it kind of like whoosh, whoosh, falls out of your hands and lands right in the middle of the uh, the... Uh, passageway between the two cells. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Tormog, I'm not sure if he... Like, Tormog, give me, a, it? give me a um, perception check, will you? And uh, uh, Sovash, you can as well. And are we locked in our cell right now? Yeah, Tormog's too pissed off about the ogre. Yeah, oh, stupid ham hawk. Uh, so Sovash, give us a perception check. Do we notice from the other side? Uh, you can make a check there, Valanya. Uh, Charlotte is too wrapped up in her own thing. So, yeah, Valanya, yeah. you definitely see... Uh, uh, no, uh, Sovash doesn't. Uh, Valanya, you see the that paper lands in the middle of the um, uh, of the of like the hallway between the, the two uh, cells. How far Where away, he... roughly, is it from our okay. bars? Probably... Go ahead, Dave. Sorry. 
Oh, no, Jeff was just asking how far away it was. Oh, yeah, how far? It's probably about, um, I think, uh, maybe six or seven feet out. Oh, shit. Is there anything in the cell that I could try to makeshift something to get it? Um, I mean, you could take your pants off. Uh, you could probably use your, the, the um, what do you call it? The uh, blankets uh, that you've got. Valania, are you letting, um, are you making it obvious that you've spotted this thing fall in the middle of the way, or are you trying to hide it? Yeah, I'm going to try and nab it somehow if I can quickly. Sure. So what do you, how do you plan on doing that? Um, your, your cell is equipped with the same stuff. Yeah, I'll just grab a blanket and then whip it out into the hallway and try and grab it. <laughs> okay, so Daiwan, you see Valania starts trying to grab her blanket. I'm assuming that you know precisely what she's trying to do. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so, so he's doing the same thing. Why don't yeah. bo both of you click on your token and then click on the initiative? Let's see who goes first. <laughs> that whoa, 20 whoa. from Daiwan. He wants ones that. ones and 20s. That's yeah. all you roll. <laughs> That's yeah, right. that's all I got. All right, so then, um, there's I don't think there's there's certainly no um, tool like that's going to be used here. Check. To, uh, like describe a... for me how you're trying to do this, Daiwan. Are you? Um, so I'm assuming they're taking everything from our possession. Uh, like I was thinking, like including jewelry and everything. Like, because yep. I mean, in the picture, it looks like he wears like beads and stuff. So they would even take his like beads and For all sure. that. Yeah, you're in like uh, you guys are in like uh, prison smocks right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that what he would do is, hmm, tie his like tie a good sized knot on the end of the blanket. Okay. On both ends and then twist it into sort of a as tight of a twist as he can and then throw it out and basically try to get the knot past the letter. Sure, and then and drag then it in. Pull it in. Okay. Yeah. Uh Valenia, what was your plan? Because I'm gonna see it which if it, if it would take less time, you actually may be able to get yours off before. Well she was thinking of just uh whipping the the blanket out, but she's watching uh she watches uh Daiwan like start to twist it. She's like, oh, that's way better. So then she starts to twist it. <laughs> she starts start twisting it too. She d doesn't do the knot, but she was a little slow in, in reacting because she wasn't really sure how to do it. Okay, love it. So I think this is going to be, um, I think acrobatics, uh, probably, because uh, it's going to be a dex related thing. It's a it's a finesse move you're trying to go. Tormog, Charlotte, and uh, Sauvage, you see this happening. The two of them are frantically, you know, tying their things into knots. Um, like a bad game show. Yeah, yeah. Is it really? Charlotte, you're the only one not to give us a perception check. Why don't you? I'm going to give you a perception with disadvantage because you seem really impressed with your own note. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> My perception's terrible. Zero. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no wow. idea. Oh. <laughs> Literally, this is all going on around me, and I'm, like, looking at my note and, like... <laughs> All this yeah. crazy Would you keep it down? I'm trying to read my note here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then, uh, Daiwan, why don't you give us a an acrobatics check, please? Okay. Duke, it leans right in front, and then uh, you pull it back. And as a refresher, the way we use Astonishing Fortune in AD 5th <laughs> is you can spend two to re-roll, or you can spend one to roll with advantage before you roll. So... Mm. A boom, that falls Wouldn't right in here. front and you start <laughs> pulling it back, Daiwan. Um, unless you want to spend any astonishing fortune, then it is Valania's turn to try. No, I'm not. Okay. Waste it so this. close. Valania, give us an acrobatics check, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's bad enough that I think it actually, you've bumped the uh, difficulty. It was a DC 15. It is now a DC 16 as it sort of like blows up in the air and moves a little further down the hall. Daiwan, your turn. <laughs> I look at I look at her and I say, "Do you have no respect for people's private property?" <laughs> so Vash is taken upon uh, Daywan's stance, uh, widespread feet in his hands, clasped behind his back as he <laughs> watches this interesting affair between the two. <laughs> Daiwan, poof, you land right on it and pull the uh, the thing back. It like snaps and then carries the uh, the note back in, flips up in the air, and you just grab it. So before he has a chance to read it, 
because he's he has a, she she's gonna tell him so tonight's the night then and she's kind of wave her hand like and you look at the note a mystical mystical gesture okay and you look at the note and it says Daiwan to, um if you are willing tonight is the night signed R Darn. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know that she knows the no. other note. So. <laughs> yeah. Villani is relying on like every charlatan psychic in all time. I just do. <laughs> hey, are you calling me by my background? <laughs> exactly. All right. Yeah. So, guys, uh, so what do you make of that Taiwan? Um, well, I mean, I think that what Renato is saying is that we should break out of this prison. Hmm. Sobash or Tormog, would either of you try and read what Daiwan is holding? Would Sobash Tor wouldn't. Yep. Tormog would at least ask, what you got there, Panda Man? Daiwan spins it around and he says, would you gentlemen like to get out of this hellhole? About time. Charlotte, you hear this. So I guess uh, my... Uh, uh, I guess they finally listen to my diplomatic immunity. Please. <laughs> who, who told uh, him about my? So you heard my? You heard my note. You heard about my note. I was going to kind of whisper to you, whisper to you that they, they have a note too. <laughs> I, I, I'm saying that as Villani is saying that to me on my side. I'm like, no, I knew that. Yeah, you got a note too. Keep it Both down. Oh, you guys, you're worse than the ogre. <laughs> 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 All right. So what is that? Uh, what do you guys make of that? Clearly, like the gig is up here. You have well, aid from outside, uh, Day One. Tell us of it. Well, this man, Renato, one of the guards. I understand him to be a member of some renegade organization. It seems as though he'd be willing to help us escape. Uh, to what purpose? Settings. I don't know. I guess the only uh, way to but, find out is to go along with his scheme. Yeah, well, it I'd sounds like confusing. Punch daily by that stupid ogre. Like, <laughs> I'd like to get out of here. Well, more so. Be we have to be careful though because I missed I missed a good ale and a good <laughs> tavern burning. We'll see if we get out, because these people are treacherous, just so you know. They call the Defias Brotherhood. Yeah, yeah. Wear red bandanas, la la. That's right. So, Daiwan, that's not who you thought that Renato was associated with. You think he's part of SI7. But I don't say that. Okay. I won't tell them that. No. So you see when your eyebrows go up, or panda, whatever, <laughs> faces. Yeah, Defi... What did you call them? Defias? Defias Brotherhood. Defiest, yeah. Uh, you can give me a uh, history check, uh, Daiwan. Let's see what you know about. Uh, it's not. This is a fairly easy thing to to hear about. Yeah, Defias Brotherhood are a bunch of bandits slash terrorists who seem to terror who seem to like the devil people in the Westfall region, uh, and also have uh, some kind of animosity against the uh, royalty and the nobility of Stormwind they'll like do assassinations and things like that so nasty bunch I I look at everyone I, I don't know anything about the ways of these men but I know they certainly don't serve us enough beer in here agreed that is where we see eye to eye Pandarian <laughs> okay. true my little friend so we're putting all of our trust in a guardsman not not just a guardsman, but a guardsman who's two faced and belongs to ultimate organized. Wow, this ought to go really well. It sounds like court. <laughs> it seems like the good old days. Yeah, Murder and assassination. That's why I'm saying That's awesome. Are you saying Are you saying you have some alternate scheme, Valena? No. Uh, not saying that I'm not against this plan, just I would be wary. You be wary, I'll look out for beer. 
Okay. Better than trying to steal the keys again. <laughs> or trying to start or trying to start a riot with this two headed ogre. Yeah. Nothing else has worked. Might as well take the chance. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I shall meditate upon it. Alright. So Sovash is meditating. Um, do you guys make any uh, are there any preparations you choose to make, if if any? Or are you just gonna wait and see what happens? Um Yeah, I guess we'll know when the time comes. <laughs> yeah. So the only thing is in our cell I mean, are there cots or are there is there Yep. I want, I'm just gonna look, and I probably have done this before, but I'm gonna check again to see if there's any way I could like pry a piece of wood away from a cot that I could potentially use. Um you know, as yeah. a weapon of some sure. kind. Yeah, I mean, I think there's the uh, the Warcraft equivalent of a shiv. It's yeah, a it's a, it's a gray Warcraft. item, um, but uh, it's not going to be that jokes for one person. <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, that's pretty much okay for anybody who's ever played a video game. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so it it is not uh, basically it's going to be the equivalent of a club. We'll say okay. So you can yeah. drag and drop a if you do a search on the compendium, you can oh, yeah. drag, drag, drag and drop a club into your uh, character sheet if you like. Uh, you did pass. What, what, you, else, what else? What is in the cell? Maybe um, I don't know. Tormag's not a club kind of person, but what no. else is in here? Um, you know that the guards have a station that you not far from here that uh, has uh, supplies in it. Like it's the riot breaking station. Okay. Um, but maybe our friend will let us take a stop by there. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if so. This. You guys are, um, uh, they, I mean, the way that the uh, um, night works here is then I guess like the, the uh, torches are all sort of extinguished uh, to make for an evening. And then there's a, like the light warden or whatever goes around, puts everything out with a lantern and then leaves you guys. Um, uh, you were all feeling mild pangs of hunger. Uh, oh, it won't be the proficiency that you want to drop. It's the actual... Uh, Weapon. Yeah. Weapon. yeah. For some reason, it. Oh, is that what I? Is that. Yeah. So if you scroll. Oh, down, I see. I see. Yeah. 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 I got it. Sorry. Yeah. 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 That's why I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I was like, "Why is that thing there?" <laughs> on I the, see on why. The upside, you are super proficient with club now. There we go. Double. <laughs> yes. Double, double proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> You're daredevil. All right. So then, you guys all, um, you were all relaxing and waiting. Um, are you faking sleeping? Are you just like standing up in the darkness? What? What? Uh, what's going on? I'm not going to sleep. Okay. Or try not to sleep. So Vash, like I say, is meditating, trying to reach the elements that he was so been accustomed to be joined with. Okay. So you're I'm reaching not- out, yeah, again, and just still that. <clears throat> and I th- so the uh, shamans in. Um, well, Warcraft, they speak a, a elemental language called Kalimag. Yeah. So you're probably talking in that language that uh, of the elements and waiting for something to listen, to respond. Uh, Charlotte. Yeah. You're, uh, am I correct in thinking you're probably pacing in your cell? Yeah, I'm trying to keep myself awake. Okay. So you're trying to keep yourself awake as uh, you're going around. And again, it, it's nighttime, so you can hear that uh, Lydia is whispering away in the, uh, the room over. Um, but, and your mind is probably uh, reeling uh, as well too, to so that the possibilities of getting out of here. So you're sort of running over, you know, what you're going to do, how you're going to get away, how fast you're going to abandon these fuckers. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can, f- you miss the fact that she seems to actually being saying something that you can hear now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna stop and stop pacing and and get close to the edge of the cell so I can hear because she's basically around the other side. Yeah. Right. So I'm gonna get up there as close as I can and listen to what she's saying. So what you can very carefully listen, you can hear her saying, "The king he comes. The 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 king he comes." As soon as she says the word, I hear the word king, I'm going to 
put together a bunch of things, which is what she said to me earlier about I've seen him and my dream about this figure who looked kingly. Uh, I don't know what it means, but I start to make a connection that there's something going on here. I'm not super intelligent and I'm very, I'm not very wise at all. So So I'm, while you're listening in too, there's sort of a, it stops suddenly. Mm -hmm. And she says again, very, very quietly, Charlotte, she waits for you. She waits for me. And you can hear her crying out. Now, Valania, you would probably hear all of this as well. How are you responding when you see Charlotte listening in on this or whatnot? Would you be faking asleep? Would you be listening in yourself? Are you just watching Charlotte's reaction in a creepy way? What are you thinking? Well, she has her eyes closed because I was thinking she'd be maybe not praying or, but also like Sylvash trying to reconnect, even though she knows it's futile or, or going through the, the, the prayers that she would ask for as soon as she gets an opportunity to reconnect with the void. Um, and then when she hears uh, Charlotte and the woman in the next cell, she's maybe like pushes that away and focuses on what's in front of her and keeps her eyes closed, but listens to what, what's happening and starts trying to piece together the king he comes and what that might mean for us in the near future. Valania and Charlotte, go ahead and give us a perception roll, will you? Okay. Uh, gotta get off my spells. Yep. Okay. Oh, amazing. Valania. You know that coppery smell. Blood. And a lot of it. Blood? If you if you open your eyes and look out of the cell, she's right next to you, so you could just there is a spreading pool, but given your uh, your um, night elf uh, gifts, there is a spreading pool of blood coming from her cell. Charlotte, back up. I kind of look, turn around surprised, and... You hear a... <laughs> there's a flash of light, and um, Tormog, Sovash, and Daiwan, uh, are you guys awake, asleep... Will be... well, Tormac's been pacing, but he makes sure he paces like the opposite direction that Charlotte's pacing across okay. the hall. Okay. What about Di uh, Daiwan and Sobash? Um, trying to meditate still. Is, uh, okay. Yeah, so you're... Sobash's problem. Cross-legged, you know. Yeah. Daiwan, what are you doing? Uh, I think that Daiwan's actually just sleeping. Okay, so you're <laughs> sleeping away. <laughs> you're jerked away by this. And Sobash... Um, when that thing sprays out, you suddenly, your eyes open and lightning flies from them as your connection to the elements returns. Uh, Valanya, you as well too can feel your connection with Zalatash has returned. Valanya cranes back. Um, what do the rest of you guys do? I'm looking around to see what the source of that explosive light was. The source uh, is you can't see in the darkness anymore because it's gone back to darkness, but okay. it looks like it's where the warding stone was. Mm. Nice. Blood, blood magic. I turned to Valenia. What, what, Valani, what's, what just happened? I, I have my connection to the void, to Zalatath. Mm. The power again. We can escape. The Lead power. the way. <laughs> so what you can see as well, too, you can hear shouting from everywhere in the prison right now. Uh, everywhere in the stockades, they're shouting and screaming and uh, people, <laughs> and shit going on. And you can see a single light traveling down towards you. Tormog, you have the best dark vision, so you have the one who would be able to spot this first. Mm -hmm. But it is a scrawny-looking guard who you've seen before. He's making his way down. Um, and humans' faces are often hard to under hard to read. They're so pale. At least this one's is. <laughs> but you'd guess concern if it was a dwarvish face. And he comes racing down. Once he gets within a certain distance, brings the lantern up so all of you guys can see his face. He's about uh, maybe 50 feet away from you guys, running down and 
as the light illuminates it, the spreading pool of crimson blood uh, becomes uh, apparent instead of the dark stain that those of you with dark vision just saw. And he stops and you can hear him. He looks down and says, what, what, what in God's name happened here? Is it Renato? It's Renato, yeah. Daiwan, you're awake now as well. Did you guys say that it was Renato? Yeah, you guys did, right? right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we figured that was you. We don't know what happened here. That wasn't me. Something's happened. Uh, we've had... S- people have been getting sick. People have been dying. Uh, we think it's someone poisoned the food of some kind. Uh, there's been trouble all over the prison, and now the wards... The wards are down. <laughs> if you are. want to get out of here, uh, then Peace. we've got to go now. There's an entrance near the bottom, uh, the deepest, where the uh, the la- the uh, construction was abandoned. Down there, there's an, se- uh, an entrance that leads to the sewers, and through the sewers, you can, and suddenly something hits him, and he is slammed to the ground. This is what is on top of him. Hmm. There's a spray of blood as those jagged teeth dig into his skin. Renato barely has time to uh, make any sound whatsoever. The lantern falls to the ground and kind of rolls around. And the keys, the keys fall right in the middle of the two cells. Not again. <laughs> Guys, let's take our mid session break now, and then we'll come back and see what happens next. Awesome. Okay. So we'll refresh our drinks, and we'll be back in about uh, five minutes, folks.
Okay, let's check in with chat here. And then... Oh, boy. Go. Um, and then we'll set up a map as well, too. Let's see, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. Where did I leave you guys? <coughs> Locked in our cells with monsters being mm. in the prison? Does sound like something I would do. <laughs> He's in the middle. I definitely gave you guys uh, weapons, right? I mean, that doesn't sound like something... Oh, yeah, weapons, armor, you know, everything we needed. Good, yeah. good, good, good. Uh, I'm assuming we've tried to break out of these the bars before, and it doesn't work, or there's... <laughs> like, it's really just that then you guys are eaten by ghouls. That's the whole adventure. I really just wanted to make over no voices for a couple of minutes. That's it. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Halloween, everybody! We devoured in our cages. <laughs> and you finally got to talk, talk of the repeating, like a repeating parrot, like you've been wanting to. <laughs> yes. I haven't used. I can't believe I haven't used a, a repeating parrot before. The MR games. Mm -hmm. I think because I, I used to. Not it, pirates, I guess. Not well, pirates. I used to have um, in um, an old campaign uh, that with basic D and D uh, that my cousin ran for me years and years ago. I had a ring of animal control, and I had a parrot that I had with me, and I used to. I, I, that thing lasted for fucking forever until he was squooshed by a polymorph red dragon. We just went, <laughs> got sick of my, the bullshit of my parrots. Uh, clearly the trauma is too uh, fresh. Let's just do this here. Put you guys over here. Uh, yeah, Daiwan. Charlotte, you're over here. The, uh, there we go. Valenia. Now, the, the map is not going to do a great job of reflecting kind of what uh, uh, we saw before, uh, but... It'll do. Are and we looks... shackled? Or... Are you guys are we shackled at all? You are not, no. No, no definitely no. not. Nope. Are there, are there, like, chains hanging on any of the locks in any of the... Are there uh, chains hanging? Nope. Um, now, let's see here. Let me find... Where is it? Where is it, guys? Where did I put it? Think hard. Think hard. I put it down. Where did I put it? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let me see here. Okay. Um, come on, you. There we go. <laughs> Pelham's Wasteland calling us a bunch of villains. <laughs> Harlan, what's shaking? Okay. Hey, bud. Here we go. Okay, here we go, guys. And we'll check in with Shot. All right. So, here we go. Let me bring you guys over to where you are. That's kind of an existential instruction there, but... And there we go, guys. So we can see we've got the um, female prisoners on one side, the male prisoners on the other. Let's see here. Let's see here. Steve, what's going on? See the NPC. Jeffrey, what's shaking? This one shot is endangering the multiverse, no doubt. <laughs> yes, C30, you are. You have uh, keen eyes. The shortage of very cool-looking uh, orc shamans is uh, is unfortunate. Uh <laughs> Yeah, nice. <laughs> See, <laughs> the link that I posted, uh, the intro in the Wrath of Lich King cinematic, <laughs> C30's been quoting it in chat. That's awesome. Uh, let's see here. Zach, what's going on? Didn't miss much. Nope, uh, I don't think so. What a bunch of villains. Totally. <laughs> the characters seem like bad people, too. You know it. Michael was shaking. Okay. 
then guys uh, this is where things get wrathful so halloweeny this thing is um chewing its way through uh your colleague and right in the middle there is where that thing is located let's drop into let me get rid of the uh initiative turns i'm going to roll randomly to see how long this thing is going to be occupied eating your confederate Mm, okay so we're going to start counting down everyone click on your token go ahead and roll initiative and Kevin, in terms of astonishing fortune, what where what do we what does that put us? Oh, you guys are back up. Yeah, you, you, if how many you got right now? Five. We still have five. Yeah. I haven't made you spend any yet. Oh my god. Well, Fucking neither Drake coming in. This is <laughs> that's it. Now it's um. You guys will have ten. Uh, remember, okay. it costs you two to re-roll and one to roll with advantage. Got it. Cool. You'll notice there's no way to not die. <laughs> we call that uh, undead rules, right? Because don't worry, if you die, you'll you'll come back as something much much worse. Okay, let's see here. This session, incidentally, is based off of the only um, MMO scenario that has ever been studied by the World Health Organization. Really. Really? <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Let's Arcel see. Arcel has stairs and everything? Interesting. Oh, yeah, you guys are in the relaxing... Uh, I couldn't find any better map uh, cell. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a workout machine. This is kind of like, a, you mm -hmm. know, Wall Street jail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> No, you got it wrong, Kev. Wall Street doesn't go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Those guys. Aren't stairs. Those are my. That's my bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I here we go. Striped um, sheets. Let me add my turn here's for this you, sucker. Here's your bed. The cage. <laughs> <laughs> the Iron Maiden. <laughs> so wash. <laughs> Not nice. You sleep in the Iron Maiden. That's pretty cool. All right. So here we go. Guys, first up, we have Charlotte Sherwood. What are you doing, Charlotte? So, um, <clears throat> these are five-foot squares, I'm assuming. Correct. Um, so there's no way I could actually reach this, those keys. Like, they're they're in his square, basically. Basically, they're, right they're in the, oh. like, it, it, yeah. either the same or right behind where the ghoul is. <laughs> and I'm assuming I can get that far before I hit the bars. The bars are basically Yeah, blocking. the bars will be right in the middle there, yeah. Okay, so you I... Get, you get one more forward. Okay, so I'm going to go here and just look... Definitely, go closer. Survey go. the situation. No, sir. Uh, well, she's, she's uh, you know, reckless and defiant, uh, so yep. she's going to do things like this. So she's going to scan the hallway to see, because she hasn't seen these, whatever these are. You can hear the muttering of um, what honestly sounds like dead men uh, from further down. What the okay, hell's happened so to this prison? So uh, I just I I step you know step up to the bars. I look both directions. I see what I see. I step back to Valania and say, "Some kind of undead creatures coming down this way. Uh, can you do anything about that?" Okay. Perhaps. Next up is Valania. What are you doing? I need chain for that, but I already know what I'm doing. That creature, I will strike it with the sacred flame. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it needs to make a save. What is that? A deck save? Yeah. Deck save DC 14 or take. Eight. I'm giving it a disadvantage on the save because it's too busy eating Renato. Uh, so I failed the save, which means is he vulnerable to? He's not vulnerable to it, but. Okay, so I'm just eight points radiant damage. Okay, so let's see here. Um, nice. 31. Okay, so he <laughs> is hit. We make and a. Turn to Charlotte says you didn't see that. <laughs> so, um, guys, this is perhaps the most appropriate uh, game we've run thus far that to make use of uh, health bars. Here we go. I don't know what that means. Because mm -hmm. in World of Warcraft, as you damage things, their health bars get lower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Make a joke that only one of you might get, and it's not even that good of a joke. So... 
<laughs> Nothing but stellar <laughs> stuff here. All right, so you burn this thing. In fact, I will make it vulnerable because that sounds cool. All right, so it... And I'm going to make a save for it uh, against Wisdom to see if it can resist continuing to eat this guy. Ooh. Actually, he will keep eating because they've got an ability called Cannibalize. <laughs> As he's tearing away at what remains... Well, he doesn't go yet, but you'll see what happens. <laughs> you'll see. Uh, Tormog, your turn. What are you doing? Uh, Tormog. He's going to try to break out of here. Just try to smash those doors down or what? I'm sure yeah. you've tried it before. Maybe you I'm should sure tried it before, but hold back a second. You want me to hold that? So hold, wait on your signal then? Yeah. Yeah, so basically Sovash calls out. Hold back behind the stairs. Okay. So then, Sovash, you're up next. What are you doing? So, Sovash is going to punch the ground and a thunder strike blasts out, which hopefully will knock the keys over into the other area. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, it'll catch the, the ghoul too, wouldn't it? Yep. Yep. 2d8. 2d8. Uh, go ahead and click on uh, Thunder Strike. Thunder Wave cast at first level. Awesome. Okay, so nice. make, and again, I'll make it with disadvantage because he's uh, chowing down. Nope, that's a fail. Uh, so 13 thunder damage. <laughs> Holy shit. So you actually slam. This thing goes flying off along with the keys. It does exactly as you wanted. The keys skitter into your uh, cell, and then this ghoul is thrown off and <laughs> hits the ground. And it <laughs> looks over at you. Its jaws all broken. Its body kind of limp. Um, now, Tormog, it's your turn. Lactar Ogar! <laughs> nice. so now Tormog is going to try to break out. Slam him into the... Slam another. Okay, why don't you give me an athletics check with advantage? Because he, that thunder wave maybe loosened the, the walls up. Okay, I think it does advantage automatic. Oh, 16. Ooh! Wang! Oh, <laughs> you remember why you didn't do it last time. Yeah. Oh, Astonishing fortune! Yeah, I got astonishing fortune. Yeah. So it's been two points. Also, he rolled a six, oh, 11, I guess. So that's pretty yeah. good. Go ahead. Roll again with advantage. Uh, 19. Oh, so I close. Oh, so close. Uh, Slam into the door. Oh, yeah. If I take damage, can I build some rage? Um, do you, uh, you know what? This is frustrating. So I will let you get one point of rage from that. Um, the ghoul leaps on top of um, Renato again and is eating away. And you can see sickeningly as it's being swallowed, it's like filling in bits of uh, its broken body. Uh, like the keys like skittered into into the uh, the girls. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the keys are in there. Daiwan. Oh, I can hit refresh here. We were, I Jeff's know. having problems. Oh, is he having problems? Yeah. problems? Yeah. Yeah, it keeps disconnecting for periods. That's weird. You guys just all freeze. Your voice goes robotic, and then... We actually uh, coordinated that by email. It's our Halloween surprise to you. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. yeah, we ain't gonna stop. <laughs> all right, so Taiwan, your turn. What are you doing? Nope, oh, Jeff's frozen now. He's play the the prank is now played on us. Yeah. God damn it! Right. Ugh. I want to tr treat, not trick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, let's see. Okay, so wait for see if Jeff comes back. Oh, we'll He's have typing. Oh. Oh. Can you hear me now? Can yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. What are you doing, Daiwan? Did you get the door open or just get the keys? I, the keys are in the other one, in the ladies' cell. Oh, okay. Yeah, I slammed it. I almost broke it. It bulged at the hinges, but man, you should be able to use some like powerful punch or something. <laughs> Tormog throws himself among... against the thing. I loosened it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think if I hey, one. Oh, oh well. we'll just casually get up out of bed, straighten out his uh, outfit, and say, "I guess it's time to go." <laughs> nice, <laughs> Charlotte. You're up next. What are you doing? Okay, how close, how far away, or where are the keys? The keys are exactly at Valania's feet right now. You could easily grab them from where you are. Okay, I'm going to grab them. I'm going to move up to here. Yep. Um, I'm going to open the lock. Yep, this lock is open. 
And that, uh, with it opening, the ghoul kind of <laughs> looking over at you with bits of Daiwan hanging out of its maw. <laughs> it seems to have seen uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to dash okay. back a little bit. Yeah. It's all yours. <laughs> you got yep. this. It's open. Valanya, um, your turn. What are you doing? Uh, same as before. Let's make it happen. Okay. Calls down the power of the sacred flame. Here we go. One. And it's not working so strong as it was nope. before. I did fail my save, though, so there's that. <laughs> so this thing seems emboldened by that, and it's like flames looking off of its head, it <laughs> is getting up to move towards you. Sovash, what are you doing? That's you, Hawk. Oh, shit. Sovash. <laughs> I, I, I know I th for some reason I thought it was Tormog, but I remember. I forgot that you put me ahead. Yeah, so Sovash will step forward and uh, blast this thing. The ghoul that's on top with uh, lightning. Nice. So lightning blast. Here it comes. Go ahead and click on that. Twenty-three is a solid hit, uh, and yeah, it cuts right through it and then arcs down into the ground, leaving a scorched, like blasted bit in its chest. Um, uh, we, if we say shamans are OP. <laughs> yeah, need nerf in next patch. <laughs> uh, lightning okay. striking from his eyes again okay uh then tormog what are you doing tormog shoot um i think he's just gonna try to break out because i haven't tossed him the keys yet okay you want to spend a point of astonishing fortune to get an advantage uh, no, no no you have you already advantage. had advantage. yeah yeah okay uh i mean i was trying to look to see if i could because I can spend rage to do extra damage. Mm hmm. I don't know if that. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what I do. If you're gonna spend rage on it, I'll give you a plus five to the roll. How about? Okay. 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 Uh, athletics. He's gonna run back. <laughs> and eat. Ah! <laughs> right. Yes. Is that? Oh yeah, that's without the plus five. Uh, Five, yeah. Smash. <laughs> Second try. Smashes okay. through and the, the thing <laughs> falls down. Why don't you go ahead and give me a, a 1d4. What's your strength bonus? Plus four? Uh, it's plus three, I believe. Plus three? Okay. Yeah, plus three. 1d4 plus three, please. Okay. Oh, that's right. I guess it keeps going. Momentum. Yeah, I think that the door's going to fall on the uh, on the ghoul. I'll let him have a save or a reflex. Nice. Seven damage. Yeah. Uh, and I, f I turfed my deck save. So this thing was looking over at Valanya, kind of like, ah! It gets hit by lightning, and then, bang! This big uh, set of bars falls on it, and it dies. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. All right, and Tormog, you can see down, that thing hitting the ground, bang! Seems to have drawn the attention of all those zombies that are down the hall. Yeah! The thunderstrike could be heard for three hundred feet. Too. Yeah, true. This is very true. <laughs> right. It wasn't one. You guys are determined to have every single undead, <laughs> which makes sense in this game. It's you guys are pulling aggro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Um, then next up is Daiwan. What are you doing? Daiwan. What? Um. Okay. So he will. Head out into the hallway. Okay. Here. All right. You can see all of them down there. What do you want to do? Can you hear me? Can't hear you. Yeah. 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 I can hear you. Okay. Do the ladies don't have their door open yet? Yeah, it's open. It's open. Oh. He'll say, uh, well, are you coming? <laughs> We're working on it. And he'll, he'll, I, so I can move. Six. And I'll, uh, already in action against these zombies okay. or whatever they are. Sounds good. To attack them if they come at me. You got it. Charlotte, you're up. What are you doing? Okay. So I'm going to move. Over here next to Renato's body. Yep. So I'm gonna look down. I'm assuming he's ripped apart, dead. Yep. Uh, and then I check to see what he's got on him. Um, 
<laughs> he has uh, a long sword. Um, he has a dagger, uh, and he has those. Key oh, and he's got some uh, armor as well too. Um, he would be wearing uh, leather armor, though it's kind of it's a little chewed and a little soiled. Yeah, I'm just going to take the two weapons, the dagger and the longsword. Yep. Uh, I'm going to keep the dagger for myself, but I'm going to give the longsword to somebody else. I'm going to hold it up in case somebody wants to take it out of my hand. Okay. Longsword. Yep. Lania, you're up next. Lania steps in behind the panda man and taps him on the shoulder and provides some guidance. Nice. So, uh, Jeff, you get... Uh, to add a d4 um, before or after making an ability check. Nice. Uh, and it, you have up to, up to a minute, but I have to concentrate on it. So. Okay, they're acting on a an 11. Okay. Um, so then I guess they're up next then. Uh, ah, they're new combatants. I'll put them at the bottom. All right, uh, then, Sovash, you're up next. What are you doing? Um, I've been looking over my things. I guess I should walk out here and... Oh, there's not a lot of room for me, is there? You can move through friendly squares. I don't know if I want to be in the front. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that guy's dead. So yeah. He's not really Couldn't I cast there. spells through everyone if I went back there, though? Yeah, yeah, of course. Unless it's only unless you're casting a spell like lightning bolt, which has a specific line effect. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh no, I'll just do the the, the die eight one thing that I just did. Okay. The lightning uh, blast. Lightning blast. Okay, so you step out and you see those things down there. Bring up your power. Go ahead and make your attack. Ooh, solid hit. Uh, and that is okay. Uh, I'm going to add. I'm going to actually turn it into fire instead of lightning, and then I'll add plus two for my proficiency bonus for my attunement to fire. Oh, nice. So instead of, of the lightning blast, you see uh, the lightning transforms into smoldering eyes, and then <laughs> this gout of flame goes down, slams into one of these things, doing what? Uh, uh, eight damage? Eight damage. Eight damage. Nice. So one of these is... <laughs> it's a prisoner, and it is uh, completely engulfed in flame. Hold on. They have... Yep. Oh. Okay. Now it is a horror movie because the guy is moving around with flames on yeah. him like Michael Myers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Tormog, what are you doing? He will take the long sword that was offered. Mm -hmm. And then he is going to I'm gonna use a bonus action to give me two points of rage. I can do that once per Love it. And then I'm going to use my rage charge and charge this thing. <laughs> And I spent a point of rage, I can charge and uh, attack. Awesome. Go ahead and make your uh, attack roll. And I'm also, I charged a fire one because I'm resistant to fire, so. Love it. Get it. It's going to be, I guess, a D20, D20 plus five, I guess, right? Cause it's uh, oh, you, you should be able to drag and drop a longsword onto your character sheet. Okay. From the uh, compendium. Longsword. And then you can uh, smash. Item, right? The item. Yes, the item. Yeah. And it should show up on the first page under attacks. I think you should use the proficiency. Yeah. <laughs> that, that seemed to work for me. <laughs> Charlotte is incredibly proficient with uh, clubs now. Right. <laughs> Ooh, so you charge in. Uh, and, however, these things are incredibly easy to hit. That actually hits. Oh, wow. nice. Yeah. Not great damage, though. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you, does your charge do any extra damage because you're raging, or no? Um, I might have to. I don't know how many times I can spend charge or spend. Uh... You can blow as much rage as you want. I mean, you just. I can spend a point of rage to re-roll the damage dice. If you want to, you only roll a one. I roll one. Yeah, I will yeah. spend the other point of rage. To... Okay, so click on the same thing again. Yep. We'll take the damage this time. There's a good chance you're gonna be able to regener uh, generate some more rage in a moment here. Yeah, yeah that's nice. uh, so. That's a lot better. <laughs> that was a good use of rage. goes slamming down, ah, and just annihilates uh, one of these things. 
Uh, then it's Daiwan. What are you doing? <coughs> Try to stay connected. And uh, <laughs> he'll move up. And uh, I guess <laughs> attack this disgusting thing. Okay. Now, do you want to spend any of your key points uh, to do any Kung Fu Pandora uh, stuff? Sure. Why don't I do a flurry of blows? Cool. What's that do? Extra attack. Extra two attacks instead of one. Yeah. And then, so, and my bonus action I can do. So, I mean, I do, do have a lot of attacks. So Sweet. Roll cool. this one. Uh, it's a hit. So, seven points of damage. Bam. That was a good piece of it. Okay. Second one. Awesome. And yep. Third attack. So cool. you uh it goes rolling in there and f much more uh, agilely than you I don't think that's a word, but is now uh than you think it possible. Four, 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 three solid strikes. And this uh, shambling corpse that was once a prisoner drops to the ground. Why are all the gates open too? Oh, that's not huh. good. Next, Except them. Except ours. What's that? Except ours. Except yours. Let's see here. Uh, one, two. Hmm. They're coming in towards you. Now, attack time. We got one on you there, Charlotte. What's your AC right now? My AC is 14. 14. That would be very hard to hit. Uh, yep, too hard to hit. So one of them comes in. Oh, no, what am I talking about? Um, so against uh, Tormog. Tormog, you are missed. Uh, what is your AC, Daiwan? Uh, AC. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I uh, believe it's 16. Pretty good. Not as good as my nat 20. Oh. Ooh, ouch. Yep. Um, and crits in uh, just double damage in 5e, right? That's right. Uh, yeah. You just roll the dice twice. Just roll the dice twice. Got it. Okay. You don't you don't add double strain. Okay. Uh, sever. I sever a limb too, don't I? Isn't that how 5e works? Yeah, two. Oh, yeah. All, all, all right. Cool. Yeah. So, so this thing. One comes shambling up behind you and yeah, starts clawing at you, die one. You take 10 points of damage. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. Charlotte, you're up next. What are you doing? Oh, I don't have a lot of hit points. <laughs> no. <laughs> you realized. Oh, my God, look at my body. You do have um. your healing, <laughs> what do you call it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Okay, so uh, Charlotte's going to do some cool tactics that she's got, which is a hit and run. So she's going to move. Okay. She's going to take her dagger and stab at this one to, to the in the corner here. Okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, yep, solid not hit. Bad. Okay, I'm going to spend uh, one of my energy points. Okay. Uh, so I'm basically going to expose it. Creature must succeed on a dex save. It's or... pants fall down. Okay, awesome. So all no. creatures... Oh, sorry. Exposed. Yeah, so, yeah well, I don't know how you want to <laughs> visualize it. <You're... laughs> but uh, they give all creatures advantage on the first attack roll they make against it before the end of my next turn. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so so, you, so I've come up there and I, I kind of like you know shiv it and and send, kind of make it off a bit off balance yep. and then I use my bonus action to dash and here's the other cool tactic that uh, this character has which is the hit and run allows me to ignore opportunity attacks from anybody that I just attack with a melee attack. Awesome. So I run back here. I'm like <laughs> I stabbed that one. <laughs> I got him. He's it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so then, 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 uh, it's, oh, your blue bar is your energy points. Right. Uh, yeah. then Valania, you're up next. What are you doing? Uh, Valania's like, well, I guess, guess the pandit monk's not doing any skills, so I'm going to release Guidance and strike out at the one in front of him with, uh, my Sacred Flame. Okay. Ooh. Uh, this time damage so uh, if i succeed in the save no damage uh oh it should say if you hover over the the information thing on uh, the spell it'll give the full display oh there we go even better 
Yeah, so it takes no damage. Okay, okay. so... Yet, uh, I'm going to... They also have some cool abilities I was thinking about using here, so I wanted to try... Uh, uh, power Word Pain. Because I have these things, these... Um, I don't know, points? These, yep. What, what do you call them? Your divine points, I think. or divinity, like divine points? Yeah. Whatever they're called. So as a bonus action, you expend one faith point and wreath a creature within 60 feet of you in pain. Um, must make a successful constitution saving throw against your priest spell, save DC, or have disadvantage on attack rolls until the end of its next turn. Mm, cool. So it's the same one. I'll use up one of my points. Yep. So that's uh, three now. Okay. And uh, is this uh, shadow power or divine power? Uh, oh, you, narratively, I'm, I'm fine. Oh, uh, yeah, this is definitely a shadow power. Okay, so uh, shadows and, and swirling dark mist uh, begin uh, confusing the one in front of you, Daiwan. Uh, Sovash, you're up next. What are you doing? All right, so Slovash, uh, Slovash throws another uh, lightning blast at the one that's talk, uh, attacking Tormod. Okay. Uh, is this uh, electricity this time, or is it fire? It again? is. It's electricity this time. Okay. Ooh, maybe it misses. Nope, that's a hit. Uh, oh. Yeah, the, okay. uh, zombies Hits are very for... easy to hit. Uh, but as a bonus action, the electricity bounces off of the zombie and creates a shield around uh, Tormod. So Ooh. now he has a plus one to AC, and anything that attacks him, uh, it takes D4 lightning damage. Nice. <laughs> Is it your lightning shield? Why don't you click on yeah. it? Let's. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you guys want to see it? Yeah, yeah. Um, you don't have it up there. I do. If you click on the, go on your spells, and you click on oh, the. Oh, in the spells section. Yep. And just yeah. click on the little uh, speech bubble thing. It'll display it. Beauty. Okay. <laughs> so you are surrounded by lightning. Uh, Tormog, and the zombie in front of you explodes <laughs> from Sovash's power again. Uh, then, speaking of uh, Tormog, you're up next. What are you doing? He moves up and he's going to attack. And he's actually going to go into, he's going to use Rampage to attack, so he attacks at an advantage, but he gets a disadvantage. Okay. Go right ahead. I get a Wait, sorry. I attack with an advantage, but they get it. Enemies get an advantage all the time. Okay. It's like reckless attack. Fortunately, with um, Valania's thing, though, that thing will has disadvantage, so it'll net out to be just okay. regular attack. Cool. Okay. Right. Yep, solid hit. Seven damage. Pretty awesome. Gotta build up okay. rage. Let's check here. Okay. And I don't okay. have an offhand weapon unless I can use my fist. Uh, You can use your fist, sure. Why not? Okay, so what's that? That's you get to add your strength to it as well, then. Yeah, mm -hmm. so... The same thing. You can roll for the same thing for your, uh, yeah, long. Just roll your long sword again. We just yeah, know the damage is going to be uh, four. Yeah. All right. Nice. Okay, so you slam into this thing, and actually, that's enough to. Awesome. Okay. Crazy. Starts attacking his friend. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> the panda. Take this, you <laughs> son of a. All right. Speaking of the panda, uh, Daiwan, what are you doing? Well, I'm going to keep moving forward into these. Monsters. Okay. Let's we'll stop here. Okay. And um. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna spend another key point. Yep. This, Remember, guys, five minutes is all you need for a short rest for this session. Yeah. <clears throat> Those zombies everywhere. Okay. One, <laughs> One hit. Oh, oh, that actually misses! Uh, do we, wow. We call oh, it's a one. Yeah, yeah. Fortune. Spiders. You spent two points with Sonic Fortune. Reroll yeah. that, Jeff. Yeah, we have a Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Poof, poof. Two hits. Nine damage so far. Let's see number three. Oh, oh, nice! <laughs> so that finishing nice. thing, you actually knock his head clean off, and part of the spine comes out. And then I guess I can make. The... Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, he's done. Okay. Um, yeah, panda. <laughs> okay. Two zomboids coming on you. Let's see here. 
Um, that is a miss and a mi oh, plus. What is that? Plus three, a miss. So both Ooh, of them come in. Narrow. One of them comes in a little too close. So you just boom, hit him with your stomach and it knocks it back. Yeah. Then, Ooh. Charlotte, you're up next. What are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to move up next to Tormog. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to ready an action, which is if uh, this if a zombie comes up to, you know, within striking range, I will attack it with my dagger. Sounds good. Belania, what are you doing? Uh, Belania is going to move up and cast Secret Flame. Okay. <laughs> so I say fail. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, okay, and that actually completely <laughs> the uh, divine power of the light completely consumes that one. So, Vash, what do you got on deck here? So, Vash will move up. We'll do some flame uh, this time from lightning blast. Okay. Ooh, that oh, one nice. slams into the back of Daiwan's head. No. <laughs> you can't astonish you fortnight if you choose to. No, nah, that's all right. I'll okay. these guys Passes over him. Um, anything else, or is that it for you? Nope, that's it. What's the duration of... Um, oh, it's concentration. Ten, yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Remind me again, is concentration... Is that an action, or is it just... No. No? You just can't no. have two concentration right. effects at the same time. Oh, this game is broken. But, and if you take no. if you take any damage, you got to make a concentration. No, action. actually, that, that, not having multiple spells up concentration-wise is kind of a good... Yeah, I totally agree. No, I... I uh, uh, Tormog, you are wreathed in lightning. What do you wish to do? Oh, he's going to spend a rage point to dash up there and attack with advantage. Okay, go right ahead. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Holy shit! Nice. So yeah, that's your first attack. It's destroyed. Wow. I want one, two, three, that's 15. Yep. Uh, I can only move up to here, though. Damn, stubby legs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, Daiwan, you sort of like get in position. That one uh, runs up to you. You beat, knock it back with your stomach. Yeah, yeah. And then he, suddenly he just... Running, ah, running down the hall. Ah. <laughs> Knocks him down and keeps running towards the last one. Daiwan, what are yeah. you going to do? Uh, I'm going to run up as well. And uh, attack. Go right ahead. You gonna key strike him or are you um No not this round. Not this time gonna... okay. I'm just gonna use my normal bonus action for my extra okay. uh, Ooh, one that hit, one, one miss. That one actually yeah, so first one hits the oh uh, oh was uh, not a crit. Uh first one hits, second one let's roll hit points. Yes. <laughs> That's actually enough. Oh nice. Yeah, okay. So you race up towards the last one. <laughs> Last of your cellmates are done. And you can picture these are all like, it's humans, it's dwarves, it's, you know, um, other um, species in uh, in the Alliance, uh, all now dead at your feet. So wait, with this, you get a chance to catch your breath. You can hear still the sounds of screams and activities elsewhere in the prison, but you do seem to have caught a moment uh, respite. So, what you... That guy um, said that guy said to go that way and this way and uh, where the yeah, goes into the sewers. Uh, that well, Charlotte, was... actually, you did grab, when you were looking through his pockets, you did find a little thing with um, a map cr scratched out on it. And if it wasn't for your uh, secret missives ability, you'd mm -hmm. have no idea what you're looking at. But this cool. is for sure it. So here's the things you can do, guys. You can follow this map, make your way down and to the deepest place and try and go through the sewers. You can try and get to the, um, the what do you call it? The uh, guard station and get gear and then try and do that. You can um, try and um, make an escape through the main entrance, uh, which is going to be passing through that the meal hall and then heading towards somewhere else. That will definitely be the biggest place and depending on who survived, uh, there may be more of these things in there, or perhaps your good buddy Hamhawk. Um, or you can go back to yourselves and be good, you know, little boys and girls and, and just wait for all to, to die down. 
So what are you guys thinking? <laughs> well, that's the first thing Cormac's going to do is grab a, 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 a torch from one of the sconces. Yep. So he can have a, you know, two, what, two actual weapons. You got it. And he says, I say, well, he would love to go to the armory, but you know, I'm not in... I'm not in charge of this operation. He looks at Daiwan and Charlotte, who have the, the yep. notes. So I, I, I think say should... armory, but then I'd rather get out of here than. Ooh. So hold on. Sobosh is going to heal somebody here. He's going to heal. Daiwan. Yeah. So which which uh, healer are you using? Cure wounds. Let the power of the elements heal you, my friend. Nice. 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 And while you're doing that, day one will turn and say, I wasn't, I'm not in charge of this. That guy was. And he points back at the Renato's body at the end of the hall. Yeah. And which means that now I'm in charge because (laughs) I'm the only one who can read this map. (laughs) You guys need to make sure I stay alive. So do you wish to take five minutes to catch your breath? I think we should take take five minutes. And then I think we should go to the armory like Tormag suggested. Okay. Yes. So any things that recharge on a short rest, you go ahead and recharge those. Faith points. Uh... I th- can't remember if faith points do. I know they're uh, key points. I think do energy points do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My my power of two rage does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when you take a short rest, you can also spend one of your hit dice to recover yes, that. Recover. Yes, true. Yep. Mm-hmm. What about this? Uh, I'm as well armor? use one. Does anybody want Renato's armor, or are we just gonna try and make it to the armory as is? Oh no, I'm full. Ah, uh, nice. Um, it's kind of crappy. Uh, what kind of armor does he have? Leather. Uh, nope. Oh, I'll take it. Great. Okay. Just so go ahead and drag and drop uh, leather armor onto yourself, there, so wash. It's probably a little bloody. Yeah, that doesn't little, bother me. I'm an orc. A, a little <laughs> snug on the orc too. Oh yeah, <laughs> Looks like a little, little tight around the cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> so what is the what is the next uh, destination, then, guys? The armory. Such a child. Armory. Yep. <laughs> we all be all there. <laughs> you have a little bit of Renato on you. <laughs> An eyeball yeah, falls down. For you. <laughs> That was the best line, and I don't know if you've seen Discovery, but there was a line they said uh, someone said um, to Michelle Yeoh's character, "You have a bit of Leland on your shoes." <laughs> All right, so let's do this. We're headed for the armory. If okay, I'm assuming it's on the map. We would Let me quickly know. set up. Uh, it's on the same thing here. Let me just uh, set up. I mean, on the map that I got from Renato. Oh yeah, or yes. I mean, you guys have passed by it many times before. Oh, okay, cool. So you know, sort of where you know where the uh, thing is. Let's say it's. This is an interesting map order that you found. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's it's another um, um, yeah, Gabriel Pickard uh, map. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do: is we're gonna use the same map we did for the uh, for dinner. For the food fight. Um, <laughs> but what I'm going to do is quickly draw one thing on here. And drop something else on there. I genuinely am physically incapable of not making noises when I do stuff. This is <laughs> apparently. It's really embarrassing when I, uh, you know, in trial and I stand up going, oop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I object. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Connery passed away today. I know. Yeah. No. yeah. I, yeah I, I was. I didn't know he did. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw someone post something about him. Didn't yeah, someone nine... else just pass away yesterday in the gaming world? Because it was Leonard La- Lafka. Uh, yeah. But someone else just did too. I think I just saw something. Mm. I can't remember who it was now. I was surprised. Huh. I'll have to. Okay. Yeah, that. Um... That was unfortunate. Sean Connery's a hit, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 90 years is a, is a good run. But... Oh, yeah. Pretty sure he had a good life, too. Yeah. Yeah. The, the neat thing that uh, they were showing is, and I understand that he's got some uh, 
he's not unproblematic as they say um, uh, yeah that interview I think with Barbara Walters <laughs> yeah uh, but he um, what do you call it uh, he was married to the same woman for like 45 years or something wow yeah yeah they were married for a really really long time and she was a year yeah. older than him too hmm. I think she was a hairdresser as well oh, now that, that's really here nor there but um, okay so guys here's what uh, you guys come running up to let me grab your tokens and bring you over actually let me bundle you up together so you're not spread all over the fucking place guys guys form up come on oh I just I did that thing where I accidentally like started dragging you along so I just super deformed you <laughs> We're in some time space anomaly. Here we go. This is where you guys are running up towards. And you can hear the sound of banging as you're approaching where the uh, station is. You're banging on um, metal. And let me bring you over to where we are here. And I'll let you guys uh, reposition yourselves where you want. Here we go, guys. And you are... Boom, right there. So as you guys are walking up, what you see is more of those undead uh, guards, or I'm sorry, guards, uh, prisoners. But you also see this. It appears that it's not mm -hmm. only the uh, huh. prisoners who are affected by whatever mm. this, uh, this thing is. All right, so guys... Tell me how you're approaching this, uh, this space here. Where are we trying to get to? Where's the armory? This is the so, armory, I think. Yeah, so you see where yeah. the guards are behind the gate there? Oh. Mm -hmm. The here? red line, that's a gate. And the other guards are kind of, ah, and hiding in the uh, in the armory. If you get in there, free reign on equipment, including firearms. Nice. Okay. Um, do, at this point, have these creatures in this room... Are they aware of us yet? Not at all. They're much more interested in uh, the guys behind the the thing there. In fact, let me move the guards up here. There we go. So, guys, let's do this. Let's just roll. Uh, everyone click on your token, and let's roll some initiative. Nat 20 for the guards initiative. Holy smokes. Wow. They move through time. Oh, me too. They Nat cower 20. quickly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's uh, add a turn, and let's try and remember not to delete that zombie. Is it within 10 minutes walking here? Um, Probably. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. question, uh, Kevin. So, um, right, normally the rage dissipates after one hour, but that's probably... After one hour, that you'll still be, you know, you're, you're still running okay, hot. Because you're doing, cause you're doing the uh, five minutes. Long rest. Yeah, yeah. Long rest is only going to be five minutes, or short rest is only going to be five minutes okay, for this one. That doesn't matter. Yeah, you're still pissed off. In fact, the fact that they made you wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Let's go. Keep moving. Kev, um, I've been playing as if I don't have my holy symbol, so I'm only using spells that don't require that. Is that. You can go ahead and assume you've got your holy symbol. You've secreted one away waiting to hear. It, yeah, where where other prisoners will have made a shiv, you'll have carved something. And actually, I can tell you what it looks like is a crude um, imitation of a very weird angled dagger. And you've carved an eyeball for some reason in the side of this dagger. Salatath. Okay, then. <laughs> no, no more just using spells that don't require a holy symbol. All right, here we go. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, that's great. <laughs> Great role playing on your part, Dave. But uh, yeah, no, please feel free to open up. Lord knows you'll need it. I mean, I'm sure you guys will be fine. <laughs> okay. God. Okay, so I got the thing. I second thing I needed. Uh, did I? Did I? Yes, I did. Okay. So the schmucks had a turn for them. They were the ones that rolled nat twenty. So that is. Okay. Guys, let's go descending. Boom. First up, we have... Holy shit, Charlotte. Yeah, so oh, I'm going to... Showing off. <laughs> I'm going to um, move up to here. 
So okay. I get a, and I kind of peer around the corner, see what I see. Yep. Uh, I will then, when I see them there, uh, I'm going to be a little daring. I'm going to use my my bonus action, um, my cunning action, okay. to uh, uh, dash up to this one. Yep. Um, and I will attack it with the dagger. So I will... Give me um, a, just give me a, a self check, please. Great, great. That's what I was just going to ask. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, uh, okay, great. Right. They're, so they're I, zombies, so they're right. thick <laughs> as a plank. So I rush up. Uh, I do, um, if I yep. hit, I do 8 plus 2d6. You can apply your sneak attack damage, too. This thing's flat, flat there footed. We go. 15 points of damage. Okay. Or not flat footed. You have advantage on the attack roll. So, yeah. holy shit. So, how does this thing go down? Uh, so I rush up to it and it's looking the opposite way and I literally shove my dagger right through its rib cage and like bones break out the other side and I rip it back out and put bones come out this side and then it yeah. collapses. <laughs> falls on the ground and it's sort of like it, as its head falls on, the, on, you know, on its back and looks up at you, you can see it's, it's uh, uh, a, uh, what do you call it, a human prisoner that you knew uh, from before and it kind of like... Uh, uh, it can't so I look down and say, sorry. <laughs> Every woman for herself. Yep. Then it is. Uh, Daiwan, what are you doing? Uh, let's see. What's my total movement? Uh, uh, your... Speed 30, I think? Speed 30, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can't remember if what your you roll mean? speeds that up or not. Four. Uh, it's the same amount. Oh, is it the same? Uh, he'll come around the corner here. Okay. And say, well, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> <laughs> then it is um, the guards. Okay, so um, if you actually say that, I'm going to let them have a perception check against uh, DC 10. Fortunately, their wisdom is dog shit. Uh, oh, only one more shit. Um, yeah, one of them kind of like... And turns around. And you can see it is undead, undead Jesper. Complete with an undead oh. parrot. Mm. And it says... Right yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he turns around and uh, then it starts. <laughs> cannot attack you, but it's moving towards you. Uh, then it is Tormog. We got on deck here, Tormog. He's the. Uh... Panda is in the way. Uh, <laughs> move it, Tubby. Move it, I know. You can move through uh, friendly squares too. Yeah. Remember, yeah. If I if I have to attack if he's in the same square. Uh, can, you can move five, can't you? No, you well, I did. I, one, two, two three, three, four. four. Oh, I can. Can I move you here? But I'm on the ledge. Is that... uh, so you're right next to him. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, that's fine. Yep, yep. All right, I'll attack this thing. Okay. Go ahead, make your attack roll. Yep. So I should have shortened your names and the tokens too, guys. You guys are... Whoa, okay. solid. Nice. Yeah, so even in spite of the, the plate armor, solid hit. Wow. And I follow with my club too. Is that... Yes, please Just do. First... I did. Just first names? <laughs> this club what? probably missed this or... My yeah, if I had just put first names, that would have fit, but... <laughs> mm. oh, I changed mine. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm just going to create a... 16 for the club, but it's probably a miss. Uh, 16 is a miss. Clat clatters up against this massive shield. Okay. Uh, but I'm setting his uh, hit points right now. Actually, it's not a lot. Not a lot. I'm overlapping. Okay. Uh, let me copy the schmo. All right, so you did five points of slashing damage. And... That's it, okay. So, there you go. Sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to remember the rules for this guy. So, Vosh, what do you got on deck here? 
Uh, so Vash moves up. Yep. Oh, a mistake. You wear armor. Mm -hmm. Lightning. <laughs> nice. Blast one of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Go, solid hit nine yeah so him and the parrot just kind of like <laughs> and explodes oh i can't actually erase him because i can't remember which one is my tracker okay so he's almost gonna move him off the deck here <laughs> he falls down a scorched oh, nine wreck all right uh i never liked that guy valania you're up next valania moves up as well and casts Sacred Flame, but draws upon the legacy of the Void. So she's yeah. using her her power of light and her power of Void together. Ooh. Oh. So, but there's a cost. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So I'll make the check here. That is a fail. Um, what is the... Okay, so the next extra plus two points of damage from the Void. Mm, okay. And I have to make a DC plus one check now. So that's a wisdom check? Yeah. Uh, yes. Versus... I think so. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Right. All righty. Continue to use that ability. Okay, with Sorry. that lightning going off, you definitely have the attention of the uh, zombies now. Um, Charlotte, one of them comes shambling in. Uh, you, I believe, have an attack of opportunity or ready to action, rather? Uh, no, no, I, I took out that last zombie. Oh, okay. Um, one, two, three, four. And the guards turn. Okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, so I got two attacks on uh, Charlotte. What's your AC right now? 14. 14. Uh, oof, two hits. Mm -hmm. That is okay. Go. Uh, five and three points of damage uh, from them slamming India, and then uh, Tormog. Your current AC is what? Uh, the current AC is probably eleven. Okay, so I should roll an eighteen. So twenty-one. You take. You take. Yeah, he's four points. Have doesn't have any armor, right? And he just no, no, that's... Oh my god, he just exploded. Tormog, what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, watch out for that guard! He's deadly! Alright, so, this is what happens when you go into areas where everyone's name is red. Once again, <laughs> a little joke for the Warcraft fans. Uh, okay, so then... And I just cheated and went with my guards, so I'm gonna move my guards. This is why I can only do <laughs> team-based things here. <laughs> Fucking Madison, cheating like a bastard. Charlie, you're up. Okay, so um, I got these things in my oh, face. Uh, but yeah. I get to go with the guards first. The okay. guards sheepishly yell from behind the things, You guys have this! <laughs> Charlotte, you're good. Yeah, I shake my head. Uh, and then I look at the, you know, massive zombie, zombie wall in front of me, and I decide I need to get out of here, but I'm going to stab at the thing directly in front of me first with my dagger. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use human resolve. Um, which gives me advantage. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like standing my ground and shoving this thing in there. Okay, go um, ahead. Solid uh, hit. So I have advantage, so I get some extra damage. Yes, you do. There's the extra damage. Another set of fourteen total. Another zombie down. So then I use a bonus action to disengage. Okay. From the other one that I'm adjacent to, and I will move back to my companions. Right there. Awesome. Daiwan, what are you uh, doing? Let's finish this guard off. I will spend a chi point and I will flurry of blows him. Kick the hell out of him. Hopefully. <laughs> it sounds weird when you say that, though. Oh. oh. <laughs> Come on. on. You guys have a bunch of astonishing fortune last stuff. Yeah, yeah. Use it. Use it? Okay, sure. Yeah. I mean, this game ends it. Do you have five? Uh, and or six. Six, six, six CSE. Six. Oh, okay. Good. I was like, whoa. Well, that's one, two. That's oh. one. Maybe two. Oh, my goodness. So that's one, two, three, four attacks. Two. Oh, man. Only two hits. Okay. Only two hits. But how much damage did you do in total? Uh, 14. 
14 damage. Okay, uh, so that actually might be enough to take him down. Let's see. Oh, you went against the guard. Sorry. Uh, eight. They have more. Yeah, they have, yeah, they have more. Tougher. So, okay. Uh, so then, yeah, they actually, I have bad news. Uh, they have an AC of 17. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh so wow. No, I didn't even hits. hit him once. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, you hit against this thing, but the armor and the shields, like, this is just, there's no vital points you can get. And the bits that are exposed, they're undead. So you're just like, yeah, and nothing gets through. Tormog, what are you doing? I don't know. I guess I was hoping that the Tendaren would, uh, you know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> he spends a bonus action to sigh heavily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ruined my plans, Pen Panda Man. All right, he attacks this thing. <laughs> Another ruined plan for Toma. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his plan in his mind that he never communicates to anybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At twenty with a club, though, that's amazing. A uh, reckless attack too, or whatever it's called. Um, yep. Awesome. So, so, so yeah, and that key, you kept your strength. That, excellent. Okay, so you bonk him in the head. That's nine points of damage. Awesome. And oh, exactly. just, uh, embers come from the end of the torch. Mm -hmm. uh, Sovash, you're up next. What are you doing? I am going to blast another of these creatures with one of my electrical lightning blasts. Nice. Uh, one of the guards. Um, I think I'm going to do this unhit one. Yeah, uninjured yep. over here. Okay, let me roll hit points room and go right ahead. Oof. Solid hit, yeah. Holy nice. shit. Uh, f oh, but five's not quite good enough. Not far off from it, though. My goodness, I'm just gonna put a little dot on him because he's only got one hit point left. Nice. Yeah, so when I rolled, you know, snake eyes on his hit points. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So again, it goes over all of him, and he's now like shambling, like he's barely holding together. Uh, Valenia, what are you doing? Valenia strides forward, calmly, to right here, and then she pulls on the powers of shadow and releases the arms of Hadar. Whoa. Sounds oh. nasty. Yep. Uh, so she, Hadar, the dark hunger, tendrils of dark mm. energy erupt from her and batter all the creatures within 10 feet. I have bad news for Tormog. Oh, well, Tormog, <laughs> oops. <laughs> get some oh, that makes but, sense for Valania. It's been so long since she's been able to yeah. unleash her void energy. Uh, so then... Let's see here. Uh, I Tormog. I need a... Is that, was that your save there, Tormog, or are you making a save? That was I think it was Valadia's attack. To, yeah, so do you need a uh, strength save? Yeah. Nice. So he gets no damage. No damage, but the rest get six on a failed save? Yeah. yeah. And I'm also oh. using the void, so they'll take a plus two to that. So eight uh, points of damage. Eight. All right. So you, uh, the guard and the other thing are just completely uh, consumed. Oh, I got to roll for that guy. I succeeded. So it take half damage on save or no damage on save? Yeah, half. Uh, oh, half, half damage. damage. Yeah. yeah. All right. So so Tormag, Tormag, sorry, you, you're taking four points. Okay. okay. Now I have Our, to make another wisdom save against the void. Oh, but I failed. Oh. What happens? So I, I cannot use, I cannot draw upon the power of the void, the legacy of the void again until a long rest. Oh, ah. shit. Uh, you could Astonishing Fortune that if you wanted. It costs you two points. Yeah. I uh, think it's cool. I feel like you should do it. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Because then I can keep doing this. Uh, that was a, that's, that was a second level spell. Okay. I think. No, first level spell. Yeah, it's first level spell. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Wisdom. Oh, we only have we only have two left after this. Yeah. Good. Nice. Better though. Amazing. Oh yeah. Nice. There we okay. go. All right, then, 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 then it is uh, zombies' turn. So the one that's left shambles forward. 
Actually, he would have taken damage as well, too. Let me roll his hit points. This would have been half damage because he saved. Oh, he's got a shit ton of hit points. Mm. Look out. It's the super zombie. Um, so super zombie attacks Valania. Uh, that is a, an 11. Does that hit you? Yeah, she only has an AC of 11. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Seven points of damage as this thing slams into you. And then Tormog. Let's see here. Uh, 15, I think, hits you. Yep. Tormog, take four points of damage from this guard. The and, guard uh, takes D4, right? What the um, what's that? Oh yeah, he does. Shit. Uh, go ahead and roll two D4 for me, uh, Hobbs. I forgot. I actually forgot to do that last time too. Oh. You, you potentially could kill this thing. Ooh. Not with that roll though. All right, so this thing is getting scorched with a lightning shield. Cool. Oh yeah, and you get plus one AC from that too, Tormog. It doesn't. It gives me an AC twelve. Oh, okay, <laughs> then that that still would have been yeah, it. Yeah. All right, um, and what you can hear this this thing muttering is back to cell. And Charlotte, you're up. Okay, so um, I'm gonna move up in between my companions. Uh, I'm gonna strike at this guard here. Okay. Uh, I will have. It, I will. Um, not have advantage, uh, so it's just a regular strike. Mm -hmm. However, if I hit, I'll get um, yeah, crit and yeah. sneak attack. Which because, to choose from, hey? Yeah, so I, I exactly. I, so I crit and I get I get to double my uh, sneak attack damage because I had a, but it doesn't matter. But just for yeah. fun, <laughs> nice. for fun. Okay, my twenty-three points of damage. Okay. And then I use bonus to disengage and I drop back behind. Tormac. Awesome. Daiwan, what do you got? Uh, okay, he's gonna move forward here. I'm gonna use my um, what's it called? Soothing Mist. Nice. Who's that targeting? And my Gichai's palm, so I can still make an unarmed attack, and I'm going to heal... Valena for seven. Ooh. Oh, wow. Thank you. So there's this stream of greenish mist that envelops you. She cringes at first because she doesn't know what to expect. Oh, oh another nat 20. Holy Holy shit. shit. That zombie. Yep. With my extra bonus attack. All right. So, guys, you have cleared out. <laughs> Leave the... alone, he says. And he... Yeah. The path here. <laughs> Tormok's just running hot with rage too. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Open the fucking gate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give me an intimidate check at advantage. Actually, Tormak is he's he will do that, but he wants to pick up Jesper's sword. Um, oh gonna, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So you got two uh, two torch, long swords. And he's gonna say that to open the gate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's him with advantage. <laughs> so let's see here. Are the guards inside there not turned, Kev? No, no, they're okay. <laughs> so the, uh, the, the, they all kind of look at each other and I, then I like might, I might say something in the name of the Empress. Open the gate. <laughs> <laughs> so one of them comes racing forward. Uh, the other one just screams out that he surrenders and runs off into the corner. Uh, the other one is uh, just sort of like is standing there shaking and quaking and you think if you looked at his sword funny it would drop it and the final one just starts sobbing <laughs> and they open the gate how could I told Michael like how did we put up with them <laughs> like, the crying guys like <laughs> Uh, so now, guys, you can feel free to outfit, I, outfit I, yourself. I tell the guard, are they wearing plate armor, these guards? Or are they, yep. yep. I say, give me your clothes. No. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of looks at you. Know, I don't know if it would work, but, you know, because he's a dwarf. Hopefully yeah, sure. I mean, you're old 24 and you're intimidate, yeah. so, I mean. Well, I mean, the armor, because he's a dwarf, so I don't know. Yeah. What did Sylvash use on the on the head guardsman there, the guy with the parrot? To kill him, just a, oh, like a fire. Like a lightning blast. Oh, light, like a lightning blast. Okay. Do you want to uh, see what it looks like? 
Valenia wants to go and uh, pick up the remnants of the bird. Okay. <laughs> she has a promise to keep. Okay. So it kind of looks like a, uh, a fairly bony chicken McNugget. Awesome. <laughs> That'll make great stew. Yep. Excellent. Always important to work on your secondary skills when you're, you know, doing dungeons. Um, all right. So, guys, uh, feel free to uh, drag and drop uh, stuff. Now, Charlotte, uh, there is... I got that, but uh, yeah, I need a firearm. Yeah, so uh, you are the only one proficient with firearms, so let me give you the actually, stats. Actually, uh, the Dark Iron guy is too, but... Oh, so if you want it, but it's not uh, something that typically... Yeah. Uh, what I'll do is I'll tell you what the stats are, guys, and you can feel free to add those in if you like. Cool. And then... What is the next destination? Is it the secret way out? Yeah. I think I, I can navigate us through the sewers. Don't worry. <laughs> She's going to disappear as soon as you guys get down there. We can, I can get plate oh. armor. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, you, can, you can get to firearms and you can get, yeah, you can get whatever you like out of here. There's battle axes, there's armor, there's whatever you guys choose to, to snag. Any, any stuff that's uh, out of the PHB, you can get. Is a shadow priest more like a rogue, or is it more like because you only have proficiency, I think, with no armor, so you actually can't wear. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. A priest is more like a clothy uh, caster in uh, Warcraft than a cleric. Okay, so I need to look up moon glaives. Uh, there will not be moon glaives in here. Those are a specific uh, kind of uh, racial uh, ability, a racial thing. You know, would he have had them? Yeah, Valena would have had them, though, right? The who would have? Valenia would have had them, right? Or no? Uh, possibly. Yeah, you know what? If if you want, you can take a moonglaive. What, what do I care? <laughs> it's, it's a one shot. What the fuck? <laughs> Why am I quibbling over this? <laughs> I don't know. That doesn't seem like really something that we would do. Not in the compendium, though. So I'm gonna have to look just look up glaive. Here, yeah, I'll just give you. A, no, no, it's um. Here, exotic weapon, a moonglaive. Come on. Yeah, stupid thing. Uh, it is. It is. Uh, I don't see any reason for me not to go for ha half plate because I can go up to medium armor and it's only affecting my my dexterity. Sucks anyway, so. Yeah, absolutely. Um, half plate is medium armor or is that heavy? It's medium Medium armor, sure. Half um, it is, yeah. So Moonglaive does 1d6 slashing, uh, and is finesse, it's light, and it can be thrown. Range 20, 60. I mean... The Caldry Moonglaive. Now, the uh, firearm is... Hold on. Here we go, here we go. Tormac will take a pistol. Not so a uh, pistol does 1d8 piercing. Uh, it uh, requires ammunition. It is light. Uh, so you can use your dexterity and uh, range is 30, 120. Uh, so you could get a pistol, a blunderbuss, or a musket. And how do firearms work in terms of uh, uh, damage? Um, do, do they add dex or are they just a one straight 1d8? Uh, add dex. Okay, cool. Yeah. Kev, what were the abilities? Finesse and what? Uh, for the Moonglaive, finesse, light, and throne. Isn't light that you can be a small size creatures can use it? Isn't that what the light? Uh... I think light means it can be an offhand. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Right. Uh, Tormac, I think I'll also take this time to do a short yeah, rest. You, you guys can, yep, take a yeah. short rest, spend some hit dice if you like. I'm You'll done. need it. There you go. Have you guys heard of the mucklocks that lurk in the Stormwatch sewers? Or the uh, Stormwatch, the. Uh, Stormwind sewers. Terrible things. <laughs> and it's said that even the mighty Glipclop is down there. Oh. Uh -huh. Do we have to declare how many hit dice we spend? Uh, just keep track of it yourself. They're, you have, they're on your character sheet. No. Yeah, so, yeah, no, I know, but like, you can spend up to your hit dice. You, you can spend as many as you want. You can just keep spending until yep. you... Right, but there's a little spot, oh. right? No, no, I think like what tracks how many you have. And... Were you asking how many you you can roll them one at a time and they decide. Yeah. If that's what you're asking. You can roll one, think... see what you get, then roll another one, see what okay, you get. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Okay, so now we can roll. Let me just check this. Okay. 
Okay. And in terms of uh, the ammunition for the uh, firearms, can we find... Assume you've got as much as you need. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So what are, you, are you taking a rifle, or what are you taking? I took a pistol. I take a pistol. Good. I, I, I wanted to move quick. I don't know. Blunderbuss just sounds so fun. It is cool. I feel like that's going to be awesome for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the part of the... Uh, Film when it's just the uh, montage of you guys stra getting strapped. Yeah. I'm going to take a, a blunderbuss. Okay. I did play a, a dwarven hunter forever. It's dex, right? Dex. I mean, yep. my dex is awful, but it's just funny. What's the damage for a blunderbuss? Uh, blunderbuss damage. Oh, shit. Uh, 1d8, I think, as well. Also 1d8? Yeah, it just it hits. Uh, I think it's got a cone effect. That's uh, like so Let's see here. Uh, it does uh, blunderbuss three d four piercing, uh, and has a scatter shot uh, trait, which does targets within your first. Oh, easier to hit uh, far away targets with at least one pellet. Targets in the first half of your short range take one extra damage dice. And you have advantage on attack rolls against them. Yeesh. That's brutal. Awesome. Okay. So everyone got the What's gear the they want? The range on blunder, blunderbuss? I'm sorry. What's the range on it? Oh, now? range on the blunderbuss is uh, 30, 45. 3 0 slash 45. And that's two handed. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, so you are ready to make your way down to the, um, the exit. The exit, yeah. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Don't need this club anymore. Okay. Anything special about the guards? Uh, the lead guard, the or the name guard. Uh, okay, anything special about, about these guys? No. no. I mean, Presper. Presper they're sword. inveterate cowards. Uh, so. Oh no, Jesper's sword. I took Jesper's sword. Anything interesting about it? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. It has a uh, par a parrot design on the hilt. Sure. Nice. I want to ask these living guards while we're doing this. Uh, you know, if they know what happened, if they have any idea what just went down. No, they, yeah. uh, no, uh, they, they, it seems that the wards exploded and then suddenly there was, uh, mayhem everywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, they don't even know what's happened outside the, uh, the, the stockade. Okay. And did they see any of their companions, their, their fellow guardsmen, uh, uh, you know, transform into undead or? Uh, they did not. Okay. No, but they were, the, what they did see is that when some of them went down, they would raise. Mm -hmm. If they were taken okay. down by prisoners, they were getting up. Those ones that were there, they were part of the front line. They only locked themselves in here because the um, uh, some of their numbers went down and then suddenly raised again, came up again. Mm. Okay. Okay. Cool. So we would see in the film version of our campaign, we'd see you guys being total badasses in your new equipment, cutting your way through uh, stuff. Uh, you ha would have had time to do a short rest as well too, guys. So uh, anyone who has stuff that recharges on a short rest, feel free to recharge that. Going down, let me get you down to the sewers. So we see you cutting your way through this stuff, and then you guys get your way down to the secret exit. And the way this exit goes is it leads down through a wall and into this little side room. tokens down here okay and you don't need to guess as to where uh, you guys have come because the smell of the stormwatch sewers stormwatch storm wind uh, sewers are certainly enough to alert you mm -hmm. you guys are up here 
Now, as you guys get down, you can hear a couple of things. For one, you hear the sound of rushing water. Uh, you hear uh, the sound of um, the... Uh, yeah, actually, that's probably the sound of that. And you can hear the sound of something that... I'm not sure how many of you guys would be familiar with this. But it sounds a little bit like... And you guys can... <laughs> so... I look at... Charlotte, I guess I guess you know your way around here. Since you said you can, you're the only one... Well, once... So once you, go, yeah. you go first. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, you want the person who knows how to read the map to go first? Well, how else are we going to know where to go? I'll tell you where to go. Clear the way. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, come. <laughs> go home, my friends. Let's escape okay, this tell, place. I tell them to go straight. Okay. That's right. Keep moving. <laughs> okay. Now give me a sec. What, stop moving here, guys, for a sec. I got to get this set up here. I was saying to Dave that it, to me it's like we're playing, we're Guardians of the Galaxy here, like, <laughs> yeah, each really. other, you know, like. What are you talking about? Uh, the three of us are friends. You guys are the angry women. <laughs> yeah. Well, Groot, Groot and Rocket were friends, so you guys. Well, Groot. Are... <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can count Groot. Yeah, no, it's hard to. He's the one. He's the one different character. Mm. Yeah. We're like early Rolling Stones. You no, know, kind of do well together, but we don't get along that well. <laughs> Again, it's only you two ladies. It's yes, you two room. are really <laughs> the bad people. The three of us are just regular people who <laughs> aren't really evil and probably shouldn't have been in prison. <laughs> says, every, says every criminal under the sun. Right? Well, yeah, I but some of them I are. Back, I, go, I, go, I, I defended my empress's honor, so I burned down a building in the process. <laughs> I, I, I will say to Sophie, say, you know, you're not wrong. All right, I just build a liar and a cheat. You can finish moving there, uh, Daiwan. Now, if you're trying to move quiet, go ahead and give me a a uh, I'm not what do you call it? Quietly. Stealth check. Oh, and you guys are not moving quietly. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Like washing <laughs> through with plate mail. Okay, so um, yeah, exactly the only uh, the only benefit you've guessed, oh, Jesus Valania. Oh, it was an attack roll. Jeez, I thought it was your stealth roll at five. So what you can hear is all these things. And as you come around the corner, Daiwan, what you can see is there's a shit ton of these things. What do these look like? Um, Daiwan... Do I know what murlocs are? Oh, yes. Everyone does. But these are mm. not just murlocs. These, these are the sewer-dwelling equivalent. These are mucklocs. Oh. So, and they all seem to be chanting about something. And let's see here. I think that they do sort of look over and see you. And one of them kind of and starts running over towards you. So, guys, let's roll some initiative. I'm going to grab I, one I of do, these. I do, remind, I do remind the group, I do have a blender button. <laughs> totally calmly there's 30 adversaries I, I have a really big gun yeah. <laughs> so let's add turn everyone click on your token and then go ahead and roll let's roll for the muck watch yeah me too whoa alright uh, they the guy in front is the slowest I got an 11 <laughs> All right. I think um, I'm just taken back by how disgusting they look. Yeah, right. no doubt. These are no murlocs I've ever seen. Now, what you do not want to... The, the water seems to be swirling around into that vortex in the, in the top there. So if you are tossed in, uh, you're going to try and swim your way against the current or get sucked down to Lord knows where. Because, um, you know, every great uh, adventure has a giant toilet in it. Yes. So... That's right. Never let it be said that I don't play to the audience. Um, guys. <laughs> All right. So first up, we've got Sovash. What are you doing? Sovash is obviously going to cast a spell. Okay. What's he doing? I'm move, jumping right? to my spells here. Um, 
Oh, God. I don't know why this is so difficult this time. I think I'll probably just do a lightning <laughs> blast. Like a warlock. I don't know. What um, do I do? What do I do? <laughs> we know you're casting Elder's fucking blast. Just do it. Actually, I think I'm going to... Put... Daywan doesn't even wear armor, right? No, he doesn't have any armor on. Uh, but I'm going to add... Oh, I better not do that. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna just cast Lightning Blast. <laughs> <laughs> What's the range on Lightning Blast? Uh... Do, you have to, do you have to get around the corner or come out to here? Yeah, like I you can, can move through me. I can see him. So okay. I'm assuming I can Six cast feet, it yeah, on him. Easy. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Who, oh, who, yeah, are you yeah. uh, who are you targeting? Just the closest. You... Close one's probably that one there, yeah. Oh! oh. Wow, nat 20. So he kind of <laughs> turns and then just <laughs> explodes in a burst of lightning. <laughs> They're all like <laughs> and all yelling at you and getting ready to charge over at you. Um, and let's see here. Uh, so much. You still could move if you want as well, too. Or you stick good uh, where you are. Uh, I will move because I want to get other people to give some opportunities. So, yeah. okay. I wanna, I'm trying to get to here to the bridge. Okay. So you move forward. All right, Valania, what are you doing? Valania is going to move up to there, and then she is going to cast something from the lighter side of things. Hmm. Little bless. Hmm. So she's going to choose uh, Daywan, Tormog, and Charlotte to be blessed. Nice. They're all within the range. She sprinkles a little holy water and summons up some golden energy, and then it filters out or surrounds the three people that she chose. Oh, she is gesturing at you with a really weird-looking knife that has an eyeball on it, so... Charlotte, well, you're up next. What are you doing? Night elves and their weirdness. <laughs> Why don't you worship a giant fire th instead? Come on. Yeah, Get worship a, a guard. Dog. <laughs> Go ahead, Charlotte. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm moving up here. Uh, five, fifteen. Okay, I move to there, and I'm gonna uh, aim my f my firearm. Okay. At my closest uh, closest creature. Okay. Uh, here we go. Pistol. Whoa. <laughs> yep. Bam. <laughs> okay. uh, and then uh, for a bonus, I'll I'll use a dash so I can uh, get out of the way of my companions so they can okay. get there if they wish. Okay. So you race out, fire as you're there. running along. Uh, then it is the Mucklock's turn. Murloc City. <laughs> And <laughs> let's see here. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Add some more down here. More Murlocs. All right. So first off, we got a whole front row here. They are. They are going to. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Oh yeah, they're gonna start throwing spears. So they go racing up. We'll couple and throw some spears. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's more than enough. Okay, front line guys. Let's see here. We'll do one at Sovash. Uh, and 20. I'm at disadvantage on this. Um, Sovash, I hit a 13 AC. I am a better AC than that now. Nice. Awesome. 16. 16. Pretty good. Uh, Charlotte, uh, I hit. Oh, that's Jack Dice. I hit a nat 20, so... That, that is. Yeah. I'm so, way better than that. I'm 21. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a nat 21. Um, I'm a so D100. That is uh, four points of damage uh, for All you. Right. Okay. And then I have... Uh, let's see here. One. Oh, you know what? Stop cheating. Madison, stop cheating. Disadvantage. I ignore that nat 20. So I missed. Okay. Uh, then look at me just looking at the biggest number. Jeez. Die one. Uh, nope, that's not going to hit you. Neither is that. Okay. 
Uh, then the others, the others, the others. Um, the ones, one of them goes racing back and is going to go and get reinforcements. Uh, this one's going to start moving over here. He's going to move over here too. This one, it starts, uh, the rest of them chanting along with him. Mm -hmm. And none of you speak Murloc, but you're vaguely making out the words Glip Gloop. And you see that the water, even though it's racing around, seems to be disturbed. Mm -hmm. Tormog, your turn. What are you doing? No, it's a, oh, it's a Tormog. But Tormog is going to move up to here and use that damn blunderbuss. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to target, target this one here. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna attack, and I will use I'll use the blessed. Uh, sure, fine as well. I will use D4 after this one. Okay. okay. I don't think I. So need I think it. it's hits. All, yeah, all the ones there, right? I don't know how scatter shot works. It says target takes one damage dice and advantage. I guess this guy takes the damage die, the extra damage dice. Yeah. So you fucking blast him. You know what I'll do is I'll, I'll just oh, wrong dice, wrong layer, wrong layer. In 3D4. Yeah, and then just go ahead and roll. Um, you know, I'll make the other ones around it make uh, reflex saves, Re uh, dex saves. Wrong game. Wrong game. Yep. Fail. Fail. Succeed. Uh, give me two uh, d four damage against the uh, ones that uh, failed. <laughs> oh my god! Awesome. So the blunderbuss goes off and <laughs> it just sprays these murlocs over the back wall. Um, Die one. You're up next. Unless uh, Motorma get nothing else to do, uh, I don't. I don't think. So. Well, I'll, I mean, I'm gonna drop my. Or I will gently place the gun down because, and then draw my weapon. Draw my. <laughs> I'll see you later, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody's everybody's making range attacks. So rather than run in there, I'm gonna move over to the edge and try to peer into the dark water and see if I can see what's in there. Okay. And Tormog would probably explain, finally, the plan works! Nicely <laughs> <laughs> done. What, I do nothing? That was your plan? <laughs> I just blew away three Murlocs. All yeah. right. Then it is, let's see here, uh, end of the round. You see, Daiwan, you do not need to make a roll for this. Something surges up. And then something, oh, there's a like a wake that makes its way towards you until it breaches the surface. One, two, clip gloop. Oh, <laughs> so this like thirty foot tall murloc sloshes huh? out of the water. And you Excuse guys... me while I have to make my video pictures smaller so I can get this on my screen. Day <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one says the equivalent of Pandaren motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing you moved right there, Day one. Yeah. Guys, this is boss fight, which means five more points of Astonishing Fortune. All right. So, Vosh, you are up first. Oh, shit. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I'm gonna find a big spell for this boys to get this going. Um, oh, um, I th lava burst is a really. If you're looking for high damage, I think lava burst is one of your good options from second up. I have elemental shock. Ooh, that's pretty good too. I don't. I don't have lava burst. You didn't give me that. I didn't. No, on my second level, I have augury, lesser restoration, Maximilian's earth and grasp, and healing spirit. Mm, let me make sure. I may have fucked up. It may be a third level spell though, so maybe I didn't. Let's find out. Yeah, I don't have really any attack spells, but I can cast it at a higher level if I so chose. Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. But let me see here. I thought. I thought. I thought. As a sh uh, elemental shaman, you actually got that automatically. I may have screwed up here. Unless. 
Oh, Lava Burst. Isn't it a third level spell you got? I don't get third level spells. I'm only fourth level. Oh, of course. Sorry. No, no. Uh, but as, as a second level spell. Did I not put it in there? No. Well, Lightning fucking... Shield, Thunder Wave, Fog Cloud, okay, so this Elemental is a Shock, Second level wounds. evocation. You uh, manifest a molten stone and magma into a ferocious ball and hurl it at a target within 60 feet. Target must make a deck saving throw on a failed. Takes 3d6 fire damage and 3d6 bludgeoning damage, or Ooh. half as much on a save. Wow. Ah. Mm. So what should I get rid of for that? No, no, you, this is in, this is one of your bonus ones. I just screwed up when I was entering your stuff in there. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. I was trying to find everything. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm sorry. Uh, this no. is like one of my favorite spells from the actual game game. It's just got a really cool looking effect. Oh, I'm wondering if, uh, and that's probably not on the. Is that in the? Is that in the book from? What world? The Warcraft book? Yes, that's a Warcraft book. Okay, so I can't add it. Nope. I Do can I have to make it two seconds saving? here? I can't Do I have to make it? Here. Okay. Uh, lava burst. I uh, can't it doesn't really matter. Yeah, oh, it's it's a it looks super cool too in the the effect in the game because it looks like a little swirling ball of magma that you like phew, hurl at the uh, opponent. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to show that. <laughs> well, that was the one I was going to use, but this one it does sixty-six, not three D eight. So, and your uh, what do you call it? Your bonus uh, for fire damage would apply to the fire component yeah. of it mm -hmm. too. I was a little confused about the totems, to be honest, but this might be a conversation for later. Yeah, it's it's honestly a, a fairly fiddly bit of the mechanics, but it's such a core bit of the of them. Let's see if that showed up properly. Yeah, yeah that's good enough. Do I, have okay. to, do I have to roll the hit or anything? No, no, they have to make a save against it. Oh, okay. So, uh, right, that was yep, just me it testing it out. You can, If that's the spell you want to use, then by all means. All right, yeah, what the hell? I'll do it. So, if you charge it up, your eyes turn into molten uh, stone as well, and then you hurl at this thing. And uh, I need to make a deck save. This thing, it may not surprise you to learn, does not have a very good dex. Oh, but that's a great roll, though. Half damage. But go ahead and uh, click on it. See how much damage. Whoa. Oh, nice. So your bonus is plus two. So that's 10 fire and seven bludgeoning. Uh, so 17, uh, eight points of damage. All right, let me go to the right layer here. Glip, glop. Let's see. Ooh, Dinah. He a uh, has a, a couple spark, though, does blast off of it and give Day Wan that, because it's been 10 minutes, so yep. uh, I'll let that go away and give him uh, a lightning shield. Awesome. Okay. So let me put the damage on him first here. So you have one plus one AC, Jeff. Nice. Anything that attacks you takes D4. Okay, which is good because it is taking the first of its boss actions. Mm. So it uh, and races or uh, moves its hand out or claw, I guess, towards uh, Daiwan. Daiwan does a 17 hit your AC. It hits me exactly. <laughs> you take 13 points oh. of slashing damage. It takes the takes. Oh yeah, then it takes damage. <laughs> Shakes its hand. Okay. Next up is Valania. What are you doing, Valania? Uh going to move into the room. Because, you know, I'm not there yet. Yep. Now I can see what's going on. Holy hell, what's that? <laughs> yes. And I'm going to move back into the hallway. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you the guys got this one, right? Yeah. The Murlocs uh, are just so, jumping from one foot to another, just going clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap. Uh, okay, so I've got a concentration spell already running so that they have Bless. So yeah. I will not wreck that. I will maintain my concentration on Bless, but I will cast Dark Void. Ooh, what does this do? 
So she summons upon the power of shadow from the void and uh, necromantic energies attack this monstrous creature. Okay. Uh, it takes seven points of damage on a failed save, half as much on a successful save. That's so a nat 20 on his uh, save, but that's three points of damage, though. Okay. Now, do you, do you, can you, oh, you can't test the void again until you, uh, wait, no, you succeeded. Do you want to do that as well? Oh, yeah, I can do that. So I'll add one, one point of damage and I'll test the void again. Okay. And then, all right. And two, can you save so you take half? Then is that it for you? Um, oh, you oh but I failed. Oof. No, I didn't. Didn't you? I thought you were at an eleven for the DC right now, right? Uh, every time I I draw on the power of the void, it goes up by one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 Yep. Okay. So I'm just gonna stop. I'm not gonna waste any astonishing. <laughs> All right. Charlotte. Uh, okay. So I'm like, what in the gods is that thing? And I'm staring up at this creature. So I switched the, my my pistol into my offhand. Yep. And I draw my rapier. Shing. Yep. Uh, and uh, I'm not gonna. I, I, it's something cool I can do with both of those things at some point when I get close, but I'm not doing that yet. So sure. uh, I'm going to take aim, and I'm going to stand my ground and use my human resolve to get some advantage. Okay. Uh, and fire at it with the uh, pistol. You have a you have a D4 of bless. Uh, yeah. You need. I'm, and I can decide to use that after the fact, right? Right. Um, yeah. I believe so. No, don't you just get it on every roll? No, you get it until you use it, and then it goes away. Mm. Yeah, you yeah, have time. Oh, a crit. Really? Did you have advantage on this, though? Yeah, because I used my human resolve. Oh, yes. Amazing. All right. So you hit it right in the gut and it spews out. Holy shit. How much damage? 26? 26. Holy Christ. All right. So unsurprisingly. Take it back. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because I didn't have any advantage. Okay. So it uh, is now going to... It, rears back and as one of its boss actions it shoots a tongue at you Charlotte yep uh, 18 AC that hits <laughs> <laughs> what happened <to> me? <laughs> pulls you back and tosses you awesome. so you are going to land right about here in the water I was say, is he glipped or glooped <laughs> he glipped and then he glooped <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> How much did I take damage? No, 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 no damage from you. Just tossed into. The- However, you are going to be start being moved into the uh, the right. thing. Boy, All right. okay. Oh okay. shit! I didn't see there were more of these dudes down here too. Yeah. Wait, was yeah. it supposed to be Charlotte or Valana that got flung? Oh, oh sorry, right. Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Hey, wait. What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? There was Charlotte, here we go. <laughs> yeah. I've been blue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> I'll put you up here. There you go. Okay. I'm um, making chain mail. My character's going to die. <laughs> these, um, what do you call it? The, the, mer- the uh, murlocs or mucklocs are just spending their turn going. Blip, 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 blip. Okay. Now, Tormog, what are you doing? Oh, he's going to move up. An attack. Okay. Yeah. Double <coughs> And your rage you're using? Uh, if I I can't, if I roll bad damage, I'll use rage on the bad damage. There's nothing. That... Oh, and I can, I could save rage to ignore pain if it attacks me. Too, but... Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, you got a sweet little. Uh... Uh, okay, so for, uh, misses. Right. Uh, second one connects. Yep. Uh, so okay. twelve slashing. Goodness. I'm still maintaining the bless. If you need to use uh, D4. Oh, I can use that D4 on that first one then. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's not far off. So, come on, bless. New. Oh. Hey. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Tormog, anything else? Are you? Um. I, I can only have no. I'm good. Okay. It doesn't have any weapons or anything, right? Uh, sorry. It doesn't have any weapons or anything. Uh, it does not have any weapons. No, it's just got its giant claws and whatnot. All right. I right. try. Right. I don't know. I can't taunt it or anything, but I tell attack me because at least I get. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this thing should be attacking at the end of the round. I forgot to put it in the 
orders here. I'm just going to put him here, because I think that's when he appeared. Boom. So, actually, uh, before Daiwan goes, I'm going to make my last boss uh, action here. As he tries to bring his... Uh, after having been slashed by Tormog, tries to bring his big, meaty paw down on him, I hit a 19 AC. That's exactly what you need. Oh, oh. shit. Okay. Oh, so, uh, oh no, it's I'll a Daiwan. I will use my... Uh... Ignore just, pain. Okay, uh, good call. It would have been 16 damage. Alright, so I only take 8. Okay. <laughs> Hits you. <laughs> uh, Daiwan, what are you doing? As he turns to slap, to smack Tormog, Daiwan is going to sort of try to use his, like, dangly fins to jump and grab them and climb onto its back. Okay. Oh, Jesus. So, give me, I guess, a an athletics check. Athletics or acrobatics. I can see it being either. Yeah, we'll go with acrobatics. This is yeah. sort of... He's doing it like a, like a ninja, not like a yeah. athlete. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so you go in each of those little finny... Let me put him in the back so you can move on to him. Things. <laughs> <laughs> And he's gonna nice. trying to get you off his head. That was just yep. your move. What are you doing next? And now I will spend a chi point and <laughs> I'm, gonna punch him I'm going to eyes. flurry of blows him in the face here. Okay. So, <laughs> yep, that's a solid hit. One, two. Oh, it looks like a mess. Why is it not rolling with advantage? Oh, I turned it off. Did you want it to? Yeah, yeah, just because it saves us, so then we don't have to re-roll. Well, when would I... Well, yeah, you could just toggle it, though. No, no, but it's just easier. If you're rolling every time, we don't have to waste time getting you to put it on. If you don't roll with advantage, there's no downside to it. We just look at the first number. I know, but I just don't ever have it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. And uh, three, four. So the first one is a hit... Uh, second one is a miss. Uh, third one is a miss. Okay. You have that D4. You have the D4, remember? Yeah. Oh, you get the D4, yeah. Oh, yeah. well, it's only uh, when he gets hit. No, no. no. He's blessed. Yeah, oh, that's he's that. talking about the bless. I might as well the use the bless, the bless on the on the, on the second one there. Yeah, the yeah, one. definitely. Okay, go ahead. So that would be a 17 then. A 17, nice. Okay. Uh, so, so that would be yes, five that damage. Okay, so, okay. so two hits, four or five damage each. Awesome. Boom, boom. All right. So then it is Glip Gloop's turn. Uh, he has two claw attacks. First one is going to try and whack Daiwan off his head. So he's just going to make an athletics check. I'm giving you advantage on it because he's much bigger than you are. Mm -hmm. Um... That's a uh, 21. <laughs> you don't take any damage, Daiwan. But you're in the drink. Wahoo! <laughs> uh, he will take the damage, though. Give me 1d4 damage? Or is that what you rolled there? No, that was... Oh, that was your blast. blast. Yep. Oh, nice. Or lightning damage. <laughs> Although, what happens when you have, uh, you're surrounded by lightning and you jump into water? <laughs> Just Charlotte gets electrocuted. <laughs> yeah, Charlotte's like, I'll be okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then uh, Glib Gloop tries to smash you once more, uh, Tormog, with that giant paw. <clears throat> but he rolls a 10 in total, so you're easily able to duck out of the way. <laughs> so, Bosh, you're up next. What are you doing? I will... Uh, blast it with lightning blast. Okay. Oh, wait, he, he's not on top of it anymore, so otherwise that would have been a little weird, right? Yep. Yeah, here we go. Lightning blast it. Yeah, oh, boy. Uh, that's a hit. Yep. Two oh, points of damage <laughs> across its uh, skin. <laughs> it smells like burnt fish in here. Valenia, what do you got on deck? Valenia is going to release the concentration on the bless that she's been using. Okay. And she's going to uh, summon a, some psychic energy and mind spike 
the creature. Ooh. Oof. Okay, so let's see here. That's not a very good roll, though. Wisdom save. Uh, no things. I rolled 19 for my wisdom save. Uh, is okay. it half damage? Oh, half damage, yeah. Okay. So it, it's shaking its head. Uh, I'll use a boss action now and try... Let's try and throw Valenia in the drink now, too. Uh, 16 AC? Uh, oh, yeah. Something AC 11. Sploosh. Valenia, you're in the drink, too. Um, mm. Then, uh, Charlotte, you're up. So, Charlotte, uh, you need to make an athletics check, uh, or yeah. you're going to be dragged towards that... Uh, giant abyss. That's this here, right? That yep. this is what get yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only a DC thirteen though, so well let's see what let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, okay. Good. So you're free to move at a swim rate. So. Um now this that's becomes a new question. Um can I is this a ledge that I can stand on back here? Uh you can make a athletic check try and get up there. It's quite slick. Okay. You can't get, uh, say, uh, DC 12 athletics. Okay. So I'm going to uh, move here and attempt to climb up there. Sure. Let's just... mm. now, why would you need to have something under swim in the uh, area of movement? Swimming. Half speed. It's uh... it's half speed. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. No problem. So, Charlotte, you can pull yourself up. Okay. Um, so I pull myself up and uh, I check my firearm to see if it's usable. Um, it, in- give us a dex save against, let's say, I'm going to use his ability thing. So get the AC 15. Okay. okay, cool. See if you kept it out of the water. Yep, that's awesome. Powder dry, powder dry. Yes, you did. Amazing. Uh, no. <laughs> yep. All right. So <laughs> I will- <laughs> and I will look over and see the huge thing and fire off a shot. Go ahead, make your attack roll. 15, 15. is a uh, hit, actually. Oh, it is a hit? Okay, excellent. Yep, yep. So that's uh, five points of damage. Uh, oh, and I get a uh, sneak attack because my companion, my ally, is uh, adjacent to it. Yep. Uh-oh. Here's some extra damage. A four, so nine <laughs> total. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no one in the water is wearing plate, right? I'm not wearing any armor. Okay. I don't even have pants on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then I'll use another boss action here. And oof. Oof, 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 oof. Uh, Tormog. I'm just going to try and get you with a tongue. 14? Nice. Nice. So you see this thing, and you've seen what's happened to the others. Oh no, you don't! And it hits the, uh, actually hits the murloc behind you, and then, and he goes down the drink. Okay, <laughs> just had to get the wahoo in there, didn't you? I had to get a wahoo in. You're damn right. Wahoo! <laughs> okay, if I can't use a murloc to make a Wilhelm scream, then <laughs> what's life worth living? Okay, yeah. uh, the murlocs are still clip clap clip clap. And then it's Tormog. What are you doing? Tormog's going to use a bonus action to make sure he has some rage reserve. Okay. And then smack, smack. It's like a truck. <laughs> he needed to get more angry. <laughs> that is a hit. What does it look like as Glipclop goes down? I don't know. I think he, I feel like he is going to, with that tongue slashing out, he's going to kind of, Get the tongue within one arm, and then let it take him, and stab, and then slap, and then stab <laughs> again. Okay, so it's up and kind of rearing around, and you're just stabbing away, and it hits the water, and you begin like surfing it down into the uh, as it's being dragged around. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's hear um, how the how the rest die one. I need to. I'm gonna move the uh, giant glip clop out of the way here. Uh, Daiwan, you're up next. Uh, so you need an athletic save against, uh, what did I say, 13? 15? Yeah, 13. 13. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Daiwan is have fighting against the current. Or that's only for attacks. 
Oh, wait, yeah, you got uh, more. Do you want an astonishing fortune that? Does it pull you all the way in or one square closer? How does Only it work? one square. If you if you crit failed, it would be. You know... <laughs> yeah, no, I'll just. <laughs> <laughs> Who flushed the Pandaren? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so uh, what are you doing? And then can I still swim or no? You can try, yeah. Go and make a, uh, another athletics check. You're getting, you're pretty close to the vortex right now. But yes, w go ahead and move yourself half speed. Okay. Why is his first roll great? Try to swim like toward the bridge one. I, 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 don't think, know. I think it's displaying the, the advantage to the higher one. Advantage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but why doesn't the other people do that? Uh, yeah. Jeff, Jeff set something up on his uh, character sheet that oh. way. Oh. Okay, so you're uh, swimming over there. Um, oh, nice job, Jeff. Anything else? You could dash and then try and swim another half move, uh, Daiwan. Mm -hmm. uh, I might as well and try to get to this little tunnel okay. here so I can climb out a little easier. Yeah, okay, you are safe. All right, so um, the let's see here. So you're up and on the surface. Sovash, what are you doing? Um, oh, Daiwan climbed up on the top of the bridge? No, he's underneath it. He's okay. just in that tunnel. Yep. Oh. <laughs> so fast is above him. <laughs> and he blasts uh, uh, the Pandaren. Oh, no. No, this nearest guy. Go ahead. If you know what. Yep. Lightning blast. Here, we'll change it into fire, though, so I can get a plus two to damage. Awesome. Six points. Yeah, it's actually that's good that you did that. So another one explodes. Lania, give us a athletics check. Yeah, no oh. problem. You're fighting against the the current. As that was a 19 roll, though. She has a minus one to her athletics. Oh, my God. Jeez. Well done. All right. So then what do you do with your round? Uh, so for my move? Yep. Okay. That's and I'm going to use a verbal only spell. Okay. Because I've got my arms moving in the swim motion here. Okay. Uh, so uh, mind flay on uh, this little guy right here. Okay. Uh, oh. So here's the thing. I made the save, but he still explodes. His <laughs> little eyes are like blah, fill up with hemorrhages and then poof, explode. Scanners. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's an audit, like a, an effect that you see from her as well too. She's like reaching out with shadows and flame and like just destroying their minds. Um, Charlotte. Okay, so I'm gonna run. I want to move over along this edge here. Okay. Do I need to make a check? That's when a I'm... wall, actually. Sorry, like. Yeah. yeah, that's a wall. That's not an edge. Yeah. Oh, it's actually. A... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm climbing on the wall. Climbing on the wall. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, yep. so I want to then make my way. So climbing is also half speed. So I'm going to try to make a way towards that bridge. Okay, go right so, ahead. So, um, do I need to make a an athletics check or something to mm, do that? That sounds like fun. Sure, let's uh, do a DC 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay. No problem. All right, so, uh, so, All okay, right. so basically here. Uh, yep. So then I will use... Uh, that was a, my move, and then I will use a bonus to uh, dash. Okay. Which will so I'll charge this way, and uh, here's something cool I can do uh, with my firearms uh, expertise. Um, I can actually shoot and slash with my rape at the same time. Uh, so I'm going to do that. So, and I can do it in its face with not take. With not Fantastic. Taking yeah, so I run right up to it and then aim right in its face as I slash at it. So, <laughs> pistol, <laughs> go, and then right here. If you'd spent Astonishing Fortune on this beforehand, too, you would have been rolling with advantage and done sneak attack on uh, yeah. it. I, <laughs> I think this is probably enough. <laughs> yeah, so um, these are six hit point creatures, so <laughs> let's let ah. you kill two of them. <laughs> oh Jesus! All right. So, unsurprisingly, on the Murlocs' turn, they scream and run away, and they are all fleeing down the tunnels or diving into the water and submerging. So the Mucklocks have been defeated, guys. Nice. 
With the uh, Mucklocks uh, now f uh, defeated, Charlotte is pretty close to being able to duck down the tunnel and get away on her own. Uh, mm -hmm. The the Daiwan uh, does uh, Sovash help Daiwan out of the uh, the water below? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are helped up, and then uh, Tormog, are you helping Valania? I'll help Valania get up. Okay. Yeah. However, Valania, you're up as well too. So then, um, with everyone getting up and getting ready to make their way through, Charlotte is the one who knows what way to go. What do we see? So she, they looked around and she's gone. <laughs> and then, um, as they're starting to go, like, what the fuck? She comes back around the corner. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <Is this bad? laughs> All right. So what awaits our heroes once they get onto the streets of Stormwind uh, during this uh, Blight of the Scourge? We'll have to find out, I guess, next Halloween. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for playing uh, today. This was a shit ton of fun to write and a shit ton of fun to run. Uh, congratulations on making your escape from the stockade. Um, for those listening at home, thank you so much for joining us for uh, this very special uh, one-shot of uh, World of Warcraft 5th Edition. Um, I, I, again, I will put the link in the description of the video to the uh, fan-made content that we used for this. It's it's really, really good. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, reading the material, and I think that it gives... Well, you guys can tell us. I felt like it really gave an interesting twist on a lot of the... a very wow feel, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. And I think, and for those of you who don't have WoW knowledge too, like the, uh, there were there interesting things your characters could do. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. like, sure. A lot more versatility. Excellent. Kind of, I like keeping track of stuff too. It's kind of neat. Just yeah, to... I think it gives a fun, uh, well, and like the, uh, the totems, you need a chance to get them into play, but especially if you're having, um, you know, like fighting a fixed point kind of fight, it could really give little advantages that just modify the it gives you another neat thing you can do with those bonus actions. and uh, Yeah, I so just didn't know like the characters well enough to say, oh, if this guy wants advantage on charisma checks. You know what I'm saying? I was, so I was like, eh. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, it's no fault on you for not doing it. And it's worth saying, too, like every single one of these guys read the characters like 10 minutes before we started playing. So yeah. awesome job on making great use of some, uh, what are some, you know, a little more complex than what the typical D&D uh, &D stuff is. So great stuff. Uh, and in fact, we'll end on your, let me go, triumphant music instead of our spooky stuff. <laughs> there we yeah, go. Yeah, I thought this was uh, pretty pretty fun, and the characters were in intriguing. They were, you know, they're a little different than what, what I'm used to playing typical ADD 5e or mm -hmm. one of the older versions. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So then, uh, for those listening at home, thank you so much for uh, for joining us for this very special one-shot, The Scourge of the Stockade. Um, as is always the case, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding the session, the, can the it's not a campaign, <laughs> the session, <laughs> the uh, characters, or the game we played, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section of the video, and I will endeavor to reply in a timely fashion. Um, in addition, you can uh, reach me on Twitter at Dungeon Musings, and you can reach me by email. My email address is dungeonmusings at gmail.com. Um, in addition, you can um, find a link in the description of this video to the Dungeon Musings Discord server, where all of us are active, and you can find channels dedicated to all the games we run on the channel, including a very active 5th edition D&D uh, channel, where I plan to gush about this game uh, later on tonight. Um, in addition, you know, and this is it's funny because it in comparison to a lot of the other games that we play, the thing that I think 5e is so good at from a perspective of someone who runs mostly older or more complex uh, games like PF2 is this just like Wahoo kind of cinematic stuff. 5e does a really good job of just letting you do that stuff. It felt yeah. like Pirates of the Caribbean with the undead and like I had a rapier and a gun, like totally. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. But also the settings, too, I think that you run in 5e have also contributed to that. Between this and Eberron, there's been a lot of real intense flavor to the setting okay. and the characters. So, yeah. Yeah. 5e is good, but the, so the settings are also adding to that. Absolutely. Fitting the, the right uh, tone of them, to it, definitely. And this, I think, does a much better job than the... Uh, there was a third 3.5 version of it, too. And, like, 
if you had to deal with all those finicky like ranges and attacks of opportunity and shit like that like i think it would really rob the energy that you get from you know that is the experience of playing world of warcraft also yeah. having teenagers scream at you in your ear <laughs> so <laughs> I, I didn't give you that but uh, definitely next time uh, appreciate it yep someone's screaming profanity and you know borderline racist stuff at you that, that feels i'm surprised right. no one yelled the roy jenkins and ran into the battle but whatever <laughs> no. Awesome. I was kind of waiting for Tormod to do that. But. Yep. All right. So, guys, um, I need to go set out candy for kids. Uh, so, because I don't want them to come to my door, the little fuckers. Um, <laughs> everyone listening at home, I hope you have a very, very happy. Th- uh, ha- See, I did it again. I was going to say Thanksgiving. Goddamn yeah. brain. <laughs> my brain That's is Halloween. wired wrong. Yeah. Everyone have a very happy Halloween. Uh, I, I, all things considered, if you are listening to us during the uh, current uh, crisis, we hope this finds you healthy, safe, and, and weathering the current crisis as well as can be expected. We hope that we gave you a couple of hours of uh, rating with our uh, friends here <laughs> to take your mind off of the troubles of our world and think about the uh, troubles that our heroes continually keep getting themselves into. And uh, until we see you next time, happy gaming and happy Halloween. <laughs>